Yo, what's, Yo, what's up, everybody? everybody? Pepponi, Pepponi speaking, speaking here. here. Thank you, Thank you everyone for tuning in, in today. today. Thank you, everybody, that is re-watching this. Much, much love to all of you. Happy to be in the chat today doing another GBB reaction session. Special guest today, Reeps1 from London. And we have, as usual, Sinjo. Hey. How are you guys doing? Good. How are you doing, Reeps1? Thank you so much for being here today with us. Yeah, no, my pleasure. Just, uh, yeah, good to see some more wild cards. There's just an insane amount. Um, and as someone that comes in and out of the scene, uh, I'm very curious. Um, uh, so it's great that you hit me up, Paponi, and was just like, yeah, let's watch some. So uh, Thanks yeah, for making time. No, no, I mean, I mean, I know you're a busy person, you do a lot of work and a lot of projects, but it's so nice to see from you, you know, that you always show some love and, and so much respect to the beatboxing scene and community. And I know that you are a pretty good beatboxer too. So maybe you're going to drop a little freestyle for us today, you know, so we just get some, some, some taste of what you're capable of, you know, people should always remember how good you are, but, um, yeah, I know you're doing a lot of things. Maybe you just tell us a little bit about what have you done lately before we start watching a few videos, you know, and, you know, maybe you can just tell us where people can follow you as well and, and follow your work. Yeah, well, I won't go into it too much. Like, uh, for those that don't know, like, I've been a part of the culture for a long time. Um, and, yeah, what I care about most is just always trying to push the envelope and I think for many beatboxers, and for me, when I started, I was always thinking about beatboxing. And I was thinking about the beatboxing itself and the sounds and the showcases and the performances. But I was very blessed to uh, travel around the world, judge nearly like most countries' major events around the world. And I really, really care about the culture. And I care about all of the new beatboxers and everyone that's been doing it for a long time. So all of my projects now, uh, I'm basically an astronaut where I go to places and events and sort of institutions, art galleries that people maybe don't always immediately respect beatboxing. Um, and I make those connections between beatboxing, between voice. And I mean, we all know loop stations, right? And we all know microphones. Those are forms of technology. And actually, there's so many other incredible things out there. So it's become my job to be the best in the world at making those connections. Um, and then I 100% want to come back to, um, yeah, come back to performing and, and music, uh, which I have planned this year. And there's some other stuff that I'd love to talk about when it comes to the things I'm trying out. But yeah, beatboxing, innovation, art and inspiring people. That's always what I care about most. You're doing a pretty good job in that and I, I mean the next thing that we want to see from you is that you develop a, a technique we talked about it just before you should develop a beatboxing style and technique that makes you fly if you're an astronaut that might be quite handy <laughs> yeah so actually there's actually a technology lab in Japan that worked out how to make things float with vibration so um, uh, I was actually like no joke connected with them for a little bit so it might be possible. I think if we get a, a sound system big enough at GBB, I reckon I can make, <laughs> I can make everyone float just with like pure like chest bass. So yeah, I look forward to that. Yeah, you gotta practice a little bit, but I'm excited to see what you're actually going to do. And we obviously will be always supporting you and curious what you come up with. But thank you so much for pushing the art form and bring it to people that just don't know about it. I believe beatboxing is very powerful and we need people like you that are very powerful and are great ambassadors. Um, very, very quick. Uh, I just also want to, you know, mention this um, very, very fast. Um, we're doing another reaction today. Obviously, we're happy to get new members on our YouTube channel. Foxy420, that's a pretty cool name. You just became a legacy member. I will take some time to shout out all the new members that we're getting. We're on our way to get 200 members. So please, hey. um, if you want to support us on that, you know, then just simply become um, a light member or to a basic member or a legacy member. I appreciate that. But um, other than that, before we start, Sinjo, how are you doing today? How, how is it going? 
Um, it's pretty full on. Just been um, tallying up the judge results from the loop station and later on the solo for GBB wildcard. So that's pretty exciting. We're going to have those results out in the next couple of days. Um, yeah, it's it's exciting times. It's very busy and stressful, but it's also really exciting. So I'm I'm happy and overworked at the same time. <laughs> Standard procedure, basically. I'm happy to be here, though, with you guys, you lovely people, watching some awesome wild cards. Actually, because um, I've been communicating a lot with the judges during this period, and some of them will talk about specific wild cards, like, oh, this one's so sick. And the other day, without thinking, one of them, Sarah, was talking about, and I opened it up and started watching it. And I realized I hadn't seen it. And halfway through, I'm like, oh, no, I can't watch this. i got reactions to do. So I had to <laughs> stop myself from watching the rest of the wild cards so I didn't ruin the reaction for the live stream. I hope that video is in this one today. I don't, we don't actually know uh, the playlist. This is all curated from Jack Nasty, who's part of the team. So shout out to Jack Nasty for putting together the playlist that we're going to watch together. I know you guys sent through a lot of requests of, oh, can you please watch this one or this one? And we would love to get to all of them. But um, just in the sake of fairness, we have Jack Nasty curating that for us. Um, if the ones you want us to listen to aren't on there, we'll do our best to get them there. We're going to do more reactions in the future as well. Uh, but we, as you said, like there's over 660 submissions so far. That's just for loop and solo. There's just no <laughs> way to get to to get to all of them. <laughs> but we'll do our best to get to the ones you guys want us to watch. I promise. I, w I will say, like obviously, I know I know the other judges, and um, it's been stressful uh, and interesting. But it's just so many more than you guys have ever had before, right? Yeah. 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 And yeah. that knowing that we already have people that are qualified, you know, that means like mm -hmm. we have we have 17 qualifications already. So incredible. Absolutely it's, stunning. It's really crazy that we, this is the least amount of wildcards that can win a spot because it's already filled, you know, yet we got the most amount of submissions. So it makes the judging process and the final results even more crazy and more exciting and really? harder to do as well. Yeah, but it deserves that intensity, man. Like seeing it yeah. what it is, like I I see this evolving into the kind of art sport space. Like I've always seen, and to any beatboxers listening now, I see you guys as athletes. Really, like people always think about uh, the body and and sports and stretching, and they're thinking about like how important the body is and the body is sport, but the voice is the body. And that's something people don't think about. So taking it seriously, being healthy, all these things make a massive impact. And that pressure, that elitism is, is, is exciting. So it's just going to keep growing. It's funny. It's funny you say that. Cause when I started, uh, I used to busk quite a lot when to make money, uh, in between. And I stopped busking for a while. And in that time I gained quite a bit of weight and got more physically unhealthy and didn't really think about it and then i went out busking after two years of not doing it and i used to be able to do a solid 20 minute show no non-stop and i realized i could only do five minutes before i couldn't breathe anymore you know it i realized how just just from self-experience i realized how important physical health is to this art form probably more than any other musical art form i would say maybe except for drumming i think that's maybe one of the only ones where you have to keep up the same physical um, fitness to, to be able to perform at your peak. Well, I mean, I it's, I'll go for it. I, I was just saying, I think every instrument requires physical um, prowess, uh, like physical um, fitness, but beatboxing is one of those all encompassing ones where it's your it's such a big part of your core body to, to be healthy, to be able to perform at your peak, you know? So I, what you're saying is, is so true. Well, yeah, the last thing I'll say is just when your voice doesn't work properly, say you have a cold, you have a sore throat, like you can't laugh, you can't eat, you can't speak, like it affects basically being alive. And um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, if you hurt your hand, right? You can still exist like uh, in, in a certain way um, where you're not interrupted all the time, but your voice is you. So, so it's magical that our culture can just surprise everyone. Like we surprise each other, right? And this, the wild card, mm. Uh, are shocking there's amazing amazing energies and innovations but i think i know i always say this but it's uh it's just going to keep evolving and with the pressure with the seven spots as a as a previous judge what i was thinking is that like they need to you have to be physically at your peak mentally at your peak and 
I love MMA and I, I find it as a similar kind of energy eventually is like you guys are not just artists, you're, you're human machines in, in the best way. Well yeah, said. M MMA with the voice, basically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, it's true. Um, very quickly, I just want to say that tomorrow we're announcing the winners for Loop Station, 3 p.m. Expect maybe a little delay of five to 10 minutes after three that we are starting that live stream with the judges. We're going to go through the winners and, and have some discussion. And then on Friday for the solo, 3 p.m. again. And I just want to say thank you so much to Tremix and Get Wrecked for your memberships. It means a lot. So today we already made three new members and there is Lone's Ohm Tree that donated $50. This is super, super kind of you. Thank you very much for that wonderful, beautiful gift. And I would say, therefore, should we jump in and watch some videos together? What are you guys saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Um, what are we going to start with? I think um, we've got KBA up on the screen. By the All looks right. of it. So we get, we're starting with a looper. Yes, I'm excited. That's the that's the one I've been working on today. Here is now Wild Card to get into the Grand Prix Bugs Barrel 2021 World League. All right, let's do it. Whoa. Nice atmosphere. <laughs> That's a dope snare. Camera things that you don't anticipate They said we hate, but it is fate I am destined to be one of the greats I innovate, they recreate I do things that you don't anticipate Cut to the chase, enter your space Cause this beat will make you hallucinate <laughs> Hallucinate Really nice the quality of the sound, yeah. The sound is amazing, I love that. So much passion as well. Oh, it's a really dope mix. Mm. Is there any post? Some people, maybe. I innovate, you recreate, I do things that you don't anticipate, they said me hate, but it is fate, I am destined to be one of the greats, I innovate, you recreate, I do things that you don't anticipate, cut to the chase, enter your space, cause the beat will make you hallucinate, I innovate, you recreate, I do things that you don't anticipate, they said me hate, but it is fate, I am destined to be one of the greats, I innovate, you recreate, I do things that you don't anticipate, cut to the chase, enter your space, cause this is a drop you won't anticipate. That's a great example of less is more. Yo. Fight, like placing all the frequencies and the mix just right. And you don't have to have much, but if you sit it well, it sounds so good. Yeah. In Pretty electronic up. music, you get um, this term pensive, right? You get pensive techno. 
where it, it's not full release, it's not like full aggression. And I think the culture is developing more of that pensive energy where it's it's more measured and that had a yeah. really good calm, yeah, calm, heavy energy. Similar to minimalism as well, like just I love fitting that. those things in the spot. In the right Never spot. heard of it. It's dope. <laughs> oh God. Reeves, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> No, no, but uh, big, big shout out to KBA for this beautiful wild card. I, I feel like, yeah, you know, you can always debate about styles and things like that. But what Reeb said is true. But what I personally enjoyed was the sound quality. It was just really well yeah. mixed. Very, oh, very. It was a good pleasure for the ear. Yeah, and the snares mm -hmm. were extremely nice. I love yeah. that snare. That was dope. Shout out to KBA Denmark in the place. I love the Danish beatbox community. But living in the yeah. Netherlands, I think. Oh, really? Oh, okay. I think so. I think so. And we have um, almost 1,200 people in the chat. Thank you, everyone, for tuning hey. in today. It's amazing. Shout out. Much love. Damn, we got, I think we just got a uh, 50 Australian dollar donation. Damn, bro. Big up to Lonesome. You're awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Respect. <laughs> and Improvo became a basic member. Shout out to hey. Russia. Hey. <laughs> Sorry, I know you're watching. <laughs> I just I said good night. What up, brother? <laughs> anyways, anyways. Um, cool. Um, Next I one. hope you like this, Harry. I think it's the first time you're you're doing something like this. I hope you're convenient. I would say let's go and jump into the next one, right? Yeah, let's keep just keep, just keep yeah, yeah. also for me it's interesting because I, I don't normally pay so much attention to looping. Like I I respect it, I love it. So as a yeah, as a solo judge, I I'm kind of a noob when it comes to looping, which is, um, which I, I mean, being a student is great. So I'm, I'm well up for checking it out. Yes, let's do it. And we got match up next though. I think it's solo. So we're back American. to American, right? <laughs> nice. Good yeah. morning, America, I would say. And a quick shout out to Hydeful for running the stream behind the scenes. He's playing the videos for us and running all of the behind the scenes tech for the live stream. So and is this a Hobbit in the chat? Is Hobbit in the chat today? I he's always know. in the he's always in the chat, right? <laughs> I want to know if Hobbit's in the chat. All right. Anyways, let's go with the next one. Let's flow. Yep. We ready? Yep, let's do it. Yo, what's up? This is a match from the USA. This is my wild card for, card for GBB 2021 World League. <laughs> Drowning in flames, you can't switch. Take a hit, cut, cut your razor thin, blaze you up, and my fire spin. In my fire. at the end yep. when they they're they're satisfied and happy with what they've done <laughs> yeah that was that was sick so many random like different noises sounds 
I really enjoyed that. With some beatboxes, they rely, they're kind of like this, they end up being this art gallery of just sounds. Um, yeah. It's kind of like, yeah, lots of different mechanisms and, and combinations. Um, I like how. I liked how he combined them together as well. It reminded me a little bit of Glitch Hop. No, totally. Um, totally. I, uh, also, style-wise, I got a bit of like mixture of Kim, Freddie Beats, and Mr. Androida all together in one mm. person. <laughs> it was a nice little amalgamation of styles, which then makes it his own style, of course. But we're always looking for comparisons in our brain constantly, yeah. so that's what just sprung to mind. But also, uh, again, that was, like even though lots and lots of sounds just was quite calm, like throughout mm. energy again is, has this like balance to it. Cause it's yeah. so easy when you have that many sounds in your arsenal to just go a hundred percent and try and show everything. But I think less and more and more that's becoming, it's, it's not that it's wrong, but judges can find that easy to criticize because when you have so many wild cards, they're looking for anything to basically easily criticize and mark you down. Mm. So, yeah. I think being a bit more, there's a need for that higher intelligence with your compositions and what you're doing because they'll try and they'll try and take you out. If you give them something too easy, when the internet's telling them they're wrong, that's what they're going to use against you. So like, yeah, you got you got to be smarter than the judges. Take my time. Exactly. <laughs> um, it's always about impressing the judges, and I'm I'm impressed by match many times so far in the also in the solo kickback wildcard competition. I ranked him, I think 11th place. It was really really good. I think he was wearing the Santa Claus hat back then too. Like it suited really well. He has this, you know, this great flow. It sounds very clean. He makes it look very easy. And then he's he's also paying attention of how everything looks. Like Harry mentioned, the great background. I really appreciate that. So shout out to Match. Keep it up. What you're doing, respect to you. I want to say very quickly, Orbius Beatbox made a little donation saying, what's up, guys? How you how you doing? We're doing pretty good today. It's a beautiful Wednesday um, um, afternoon. Thank you, Trimix, also for the upgrade of your membership. And we have Jay Sharma being a basic member that is new as well. Thank you so much for helping us out, um, reaching our goal of getting 200 members. And I see Paul Van Ruyen from the Philippines in the chat. Greetings to you, brother. I hope you're doing well, man. Right? Yeah, yeah. Should we hit the next one? Let's hit the next one. Let's go. We've got Antrix. Antrix, let's do Hello, it. Hello, I'm Antrix, and this is my wildcard for the GBB 2021 World League. Ooh. What device is that? I don't know. There's an awkward moment of silence. <laughs> Nice lamp. Yeah, nice lamp. Dude. Nice curtain. Nice hoodie. <laughs> this could be maybe drama bass, perhaps? There's a small chance for it, right? Yep, it could be. Like in the sad boy vibe. See Yo, I'm Antrix, and this is my wildcard for the GBB oh, what 2021. Mine's not World playing. <laughs> it restarted on my end. Mine just, just stopped Same. playing. <laughs> Here we go again. Can we move forward? Can we just move forward to the first minute? I'll do it. Two drops. Lucky. Mine's not playing. Oh, uh, okay. What happened? I'm so sorry, everybody, in the stream that you had to go through this with us. You know the issues. We're working on it. We wanted to be on Discord today. We just had not enough time. So we have to restart this process. Sinjo's laptop is not in the best condition. So maybe Hideful, if you could send us the link again and then we I know, just I just, start it. I just, 
open up the same link again. So you guys stay where you are. I just reopen ah, okay. my one. And there we go. That's all we have so to finally, do. I yeah. have a question for you. Like, where do you see, like, what do you think the energy is going to be like at GBB? Like, when it actually happens again? Like, well, what insanity. you think? Absolute insanity. <laughs> uh, we almost sold 800 tickets. We have about 1,300 that are coming from last year. So we're expecting a big crowd. Um, the venue is big enough, so we can sell a, a bit more. And obviously, I just recommend everybody to, you know, come healthy and safe with a lot of energy. It's going to be a one day longer. We need to have a good crowd. And I believe the beatboxers that are preparing their sets and want to battle, I believe, will bring such an energy that we will have just a big blast and, and a huge party. I think we should aim to have the biggest beatbox party we ever had so far, you know? Yeah, I also think it's going to be so crazy because people are going to release all their pent-up energy from the last year and a half, two years of of the world situation, you know? So I think that, that part of it's just going to... The vibe, the energy is going to be incomparable. But I'm ready to go again, guys, so I'm sorry about that. Sorry, Antrix, um, forgive us this issue, but I love the first drop of your drum bass, man. Let's go then. Let's play it. Go back to before the drop. I didn't get the drop. Let's go. All right. It's a nice song to listen to again. I get great energy from the song. It's the authentic drop. Yeah, it's real liquid. It's a beautiful song. Half-time drop, yeah. It's just nice when you just go easy with the head, right? Oh, nice. oh, Thank really you like very much. Mm. Super I mean, we, authentic. Like on we the love drum and bass, don't we? Yeah, it <laughs> makes me think of... Um, I was playing in Croatia, and uh, there's a, a drum and bass producer called Sub Focus, I guess, who sometimes makes similar stuff to, to that energy. <clears throat> and um, it makes me think of the trees and the hills um, and again, like nice and calm and considered, so I'm impressed. Yeah, Sub Focus is uh, old school Don, man. I remember back in the day, Time Warp was the biggest anthem. Like every single drum and bass party, someone would drop Time Warp from Sub Focus. Back before Neurofunk existed as a subgenre. Oh, man. Mm, I know, I know the song, yeah. Uh, that was dope, man. Big ups. Um, who was it again? Sorry, it's Mr. Oh, no, Andrix. Andrix, man. But Aaron, you're a drama based producer. Maybe can you just reflect from your opinion what, what, what you think about it, you know? It's really difficult because pro pro drama based production is so much about a lot of the tech stuff that goes on behind the scenes, like side chaining and sound design and modulation, automation. And that's really difficult to do on a loop station 
Um, so what he did there, the mix was good, but there was there were some things that could have been better in terms of the levels and compression and just kind of mixing production techniques on it. Uh, creatively, it was amazing. Like I really liked it, the creative side of it. But yeah, those well, kind of those kind of tracks depend so much on the production value, and it's really difficult to get that kind of top level production value on a loop station. Yeah, I also like. I think that everyone should always has to kind of be the energy of their routine and i think like if you're just performing it it can kind of not connect as much and i mean like i like the lamp and i like the curtain right but <laughs> if you, i yeah just really being in that emotion being in that energy just helps it like smack more so Entrix, yeah, if you're I, watching this reach out to sinjo for some feedback you know <laughs> face to face it's it's amazing. It's incredible how much people underestimate the showmanship aspect of things, because it's it's like connecting the music visually with the with the person watching. So it's it's almost like the the physical visual performance paints a picture of the music. So if you were like deaf, you know, and you could like my my for those who don't know, my brother's deaf, um, and I grew up with him. So I I kind of I learned a lot to see the world through his eyes, and for someone who's can't hear the music but can feel and see it the visual aspect is so important and obviously people who are listening to music aren't deaf but it just kind of showcases how important that is it's like translating the audible music into a visual performance and it's sometimes i think it's underestimated a lot especially in these video competitions but it's still really important like what reeps was saying just connecting with it and a good example, two people from that would be Shogo and Alexino, you know, so different in their showmanship styles, but they both of them paint a p picture of their performance with their physical performance showmanship in the video. But yeah, that's enough ranting from me, guys. <laughs> Let's go and watch the next one, which is Enhance, yeah. right? Is that true? Uh, yep, Enhance. I got Enhance on the screen. Let's Ooh. go. Oh, Let's ready. go. Let's do it. Yo, yo, what's up? I'm a hands from the USA, and this is my solo loop station wild card for the 2021 Grand B Bucks Battle. You got a lot of loops today. So chill. Nice papers in the background. <laughs> yeah, I want to know what it's, what does it say on these papers, kind of right? One, one, yeah. one. <laughs> Trying to read. Ooh, oh, just stare, intensive stare. There's a good emotion in this one. Now we're getting brighter in the video as well, it's quite nice. And is it just me or... I see no second device, right? It's just a looper. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
here. Yeah, that was um see there was something about the way he was carrying himself was, and the, 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 the track is great oh it comes back yeah <laughs> the energy there yeah that was, um, that was sick yeah i mean it was just you know good structured my feedback maybe is just um and i mean respect for just using the one looper i i, I really like that but um my my only advice here and i'm pretty sure especially you Aaron you can agree with me um the mixing you know when those layers of drops are coming in this can be done better but otherwise i would say it's a great song and i hope you taking enhance hope you take my critique here not as as any negative but um i enjoyed the song but i know if this is d done better you know then i feel like more people will have a, a greater time listening to the song yeah, the, the the one thing is that the, the frequency spectrum was a bit overloaded in like the mid, the upper mids um, and lower mids as well, just in terms of the, uh, those synth sounds. So when they get overwashed and overloaded, sometimes the mix gets a bit muddy and it's hard to <laughs> discern. What? I'm, I'm, I'm joking. Are you, not... booing, are you booing my, my, my <laughs> feedback? I'm, I'm trying to help here, man. <laughs> um, no, you're no, totally, it's... totally right. I'm just there. Uh... I'm messing, I'm messing with you guys. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. Solo beatboxer. I know you don't know much about loop. It's fine. It's okay. Let me explain All it right. to you. Yeah. I'm, I'm taking on that role. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm just. I'm like that random audience member. I say that it sounds good. Like. Leave it. <laughs> um, um, the, the next really one. In the loop production. The yeah. next one is somebody special from Canada. I think from Calgary. I'm not quite sure. I. I, I don't want to be make this wrong here, but it's Canadian. And I and I and I know that Sinjo ranked this person first place at the kickback solo wildcard mm -hmm. competition back in last December. So I'm very much excited for this one. Let's go I with Big this. Squid. I really like this kid. I think he has so much potential. Cool. Definitely. And greetings to everyone in the chat, by the way. Thank you for being here with us. Yeah. Let's nice go. Canada, Canada, and this is my solo wildcard. Look how positive this human being is. I love it. I'll make you dance. I'll make you dance. Yes, do it, man. Move your body on the dance floor. Move your body on the dance Wow, good quality. <laughs> oh my god, this is good. Mm-hmm. 
great techniques. Yeah. I, and he just joined in the chat as well. Shout out to Big Squid who just hey, jumped in the chat. Greetings to Canada. Yo, Canada. Yo, yo. <laughs> can we can we watch the bloopers as well? I heard there are some bloopers in this clip. Oh, okay. I love his control of um of the sick. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> so many takes, I only believe it. <laughs> that sound is beautiful. Shout out to you, Squid. that routine from him <laughs> yeah his control of synths is crazy big ups man big ups you big, big squid. fan big fan big squid yeah. if you're watching before anyone says something please please no matter what is going to happen if you win a wild card or not please record a shout out for a swiss beatbox it would be such an honor for us please somehow if i don't know reach out to us or i will reach out to you but let's do it man i'm a big fan i, I love your work Keep it up. Don't stop, man. Yeah, yeah. That was dope. We got two uh, up Harry, next. Harry, Harry wanted to say something, but he's muted. But I w maybe want to say one more thing before Harry says something. These bloopers, you know, this make this is like good if you judge all these hundreds of wild cards. It just, you know, gives you a relaxing moment. It's just beautiful to also see how many dozens of takes people are taking. Maybe... Big Squid didn't do dozens of takes, but that I think is a great average to to point out. People work hard for these videos, and this is, you know brings a greater example on the table. Thank you very much for your experience. Yeah, it's not gonna. Uh, oh, go on, go on. Eric. No, you go, mate. You go, mate. You're up next. It's all you, mate. It's all you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you should take your career seriously, but and I'm one. I have to remind myself of this as well sometimes. You definitely shouldn't take yourself too seriously. I mean, like believe in yourself and be like, you like be powerful, be in that. But to show that you're still a human being and to show that you're above it all in some way is like really, uh, really great with humor, with having fun. And in a clip yeah. like that, it just it's a perfect example. And the other thing is, it's kind of crazy, isn't it? When a beatboxer is like really gifted in a new sound or can do a sound um, that has existed for a long time in a new way. And then all of these new patterns open up. And now what you can hear there is he's got these really strong synth sounds and he's able to kind of interplay between them in a really, really uh, epic way. And, they, and everyone always picks up on that. It's in your subconscious. Um, that's what makes judges stand up and it, that's what gets like those, um, those comments of surprise. So I always love seeing those, those moments. Yeah, it, that's one of the reasons I. It took me a long time for kickback when I was judging. I kept changing my list, listening over and over and over again. And every time I listened to Big Squid, he always jumped one rank up. And it kept happening like that until he was finally in first place, just because of his control of the synths and like switching between sub bass, like, and then really quick in between. I can't do the texture that he has, obviously, but uh, just his control of that going back and forth, it was it was amazing. Um, so yeah, thanks for that, Big Squid. Big ups to you, man. I can't wait. To Big ups to so. Canada, man. We can't wait to come back. And maybe at this point, real quick, I just want to give a shout out to Paul and Aaron Brusen. Thank you so much for being a member. It means really a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank hey, you. Hey, shout Grateful out to Paul. Thank you so much. And we have against all odds with a donation of almost 10 US dollars. Is that correct? React to Remix yeah. Wildcard. First of all, thanks for your donation. It means a lot. It helps us. We we are very happy to receive this kind of support. And we have a playlist here that we're going through. And we don't know who's in the playlist. You know, we have not seen any videos. So thank you, Jack Nasty, for putting it together. But he will, you know, he it will be on him to surprise us with that. I, I just saw a little message. 
I yeah. just saw a little message in the chat saying that apparently it's already in the playlist. So All right. Like so the, yeah. again, so lots. Thank you for your donation. We will get there. And uh, I would say next one um, is going to be another solo. I'm excited. Just, Very excited. Just before, we, before we start that, I want to say a big shout out to Paul, who just became a legacy member. He's actually a good friend of ours uh, from South Africa. He lives in the Philippines. He has an amazing um, resort there. So if anyone is going out to the Philippines, check out Buco Beach Resort in El Nido. The place is incredible. And the guy who runs it, Paul, is an amazing human being who loves beatboxing. So if you're a beatboxer, hit him up when you're out there, and I'm sure he'll love to connect with you guys. But yeah, shout out to you, Paul. We love you, mate. All right. Sorry for that little side chain. <laughs> side chain, side track. Let's get on to Chihuahua. Let's do it. Hi, I'm Chihuahua from Poland, and this is my solo white card for Grand Beatbox Battle 2021 World League. Here we go. Here we go. Focus. Focus. Focus on whatever you chase. Going your way, many distractions will keep you away from even your own thought and whatever you chase. Focus, put your mind in the place. Focus, put your find the place. Focus, put your find the focus, put your find the place. Focus on whatever you chase. Chase. Nice technique. Focus on whatever it takes. Take it. Wow. Oh my god. So much effort. But so fast until afterwards. Yeah. Amazing. I have to be honest, I mastered that one, so I've already listened to it quite a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but I still love it. Yeah. I can listen to it every time. It's dope. It's so yeah. dope. Wow. One of the best, yeah, one of the best beatboxes in the world, without doubt. And amazing yeah. energy, amazing artist. Um, I'm always like, yeah, I'm always intrigued to see what she does. And yeah, yeah like I, I super, super strong, amazing well card. It's, it's been such a plot. So. It's been such a pleasure to watch her grow and develop through the years with beatboxing because I think we met, I think I was there when I met her the first time when she just started beatboxing and then to see her develop so quickly and so amazingly. She's one of the best up and coming beatboxers in the world right now. I love it. So sick. Yeah, I think she has gone a long way since I think I met her 2015 the first time and she took it quite serious and I think she's doing a lot of incredible techniques that I just know a lot of beatboxers will never be able to do. I've never heard them from anyone else before. Yeah. This is unique. This is originality. And I really, I mean, the, the title of the video brings it to the point as well. Focus. It was just really, really well. My focus was on this clip. I, I went, for, it was like a journey, this wild card. Thank you very much for the experience, Chihuahua. Greetings to you, to Poland, to Wroclaw. Yeah, I think a lot of people who haven't also experienced her live, like her on stage, she has so much power and it sounds so good. So I, like a lot of people judge a lot of beatboxes purely through videos. And I don't, I think you don't really understand their music until you hear them on a live stage. I, oh, I know. Times. Uh -huh. 
A thousand, yes, I agree. Yeah. Like, it's crazy. Yeah. Because also, it's all gone so online over the pandemic. I think everyone's just going to be shocked. And especially any beatboxer that's not been to an event or only does online battles, it's a whole other instrument. And Chihuahua can control a sound system like in a really crazy way. And also the other thing is she... Some beatboxers have a phrase or a sound or an energy that they, they kind of have some ownership over. She has a whole uh, palette that she's developed and it's a lot of different sounds and a lot of different combinations. And obviously um, Trung has a similar quality where he's able to kind of, the way that he connects things together. So I can see that in both of them. And that's what, that's where the originality comes when you're not doubling down on one sort of sound uh, or novelty. You're really spread out and original in lots of different ways. So that's super, super great to see. Imagine yeah. they have to battle at GBB. How cool would that be? <laughs> that would be beautiful. The meta, man. The meta. Oh, my God. Oh, my uh, yeah, God, I think, yeah. I think you, you touched on something there, Reeves, for a second when you said a lot of people who have just battled online, um, when they get to GBB, are going to get a big shock. And I think this is something a lot of people are underestimating, that these people, these beatboxers who have got a lot of experience in the online scene and gotten really far with online battling, it's going to be a, a big surprise when you stand on stage and realize you not only do you have to perform your beatboxing, but control the crowd, control the sound system, control the mic technique while 5,000 people are screaming. And it's just, it's such a different world performing on stage um, than performing yeah, behind could, a laptop. Uh, yeah, sorry to interrupt you. Uh, so, but yeah, I, I talk about th this subject for hours because yeah, I think it's, uh, again, it's the same with fighting, right? Is that you can be in the gym and you can practice and you can spar, but nothing is like the real thing. Um, mm. And that those, the energy of the crowd, like the heat Just in the room. One second, I go quickly potty. You keep talking, okay? I'll be back oh, in a minute. That was so posh for Pony. I know. Great. Potty, go, go the potty, yeah, go, go the loo. Potty. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, yeah, the, the heat of the room, like some events mm. like in summer, like that can affect the oxygen in the room. So a routine that you do at home in the cold, with your window open, it's cold and crisp, um, is very different when you've got all those thousands of people shouting. So you have to acclimatize. Also the heat in the room affects your mouth and it affects so actually crazy. like, yeah. So, so these are like, these are details, right? That you have to stay very calm to not be affected by that. And to, yeah. and if you have very precise sounds like whistles, um, a small change in the way that you're, you're feeling can really affect that routine. So uh, I've seen like BR like touch on this um, with the Wim, Wim Hof method and breathing and keeping your adrenaline, your adrenaline calm. Like all of these things are gonna be powerful tools obviously everyone doesn't have to become these crazy like beatbox athletes right but if you are dreaming of being on the gbv stage and anyone that's still battling it's um it's a, a big head game as well and talking that through and preparing for that and imagining being on stage and having your heart like um beating you muted yourself mate you muted yourself oh, running and practicing <laughs> yeah running and practicing and all these things like they just if you push yourself at home like beyond what it's going to be like on a stage like that that's that's one of the only ways to really be ready but also nerves yeah. can be a good thing right so yeah a, a big part of it though is that a lot of a lot of people were so much more aware of this before the pandemic because you would be going to events and seeing oh this is actually different and having the experience and i think with this break from events for almost like for over a year now has kind of made that gap even bigger where there's even more people now that are really good beatboxers technically, but they haven't had a chance yet to jump on a big stage and really experience how different that can be. And I've seen so many people come up through the, through not necessarily online, but just people who haven't, it doesn't even, it's nothing to do with online. It's just generally if you've gotten on stage or not. And those guys that have gotten really good at home practicing and they get on their first stage and it's pretty much always the same thing. Like they stand in the corner, no much movement, beatboxing down into a microphone, not much energy translating and getting tired. Like you, you tend to push yourself harder on a stage because you get the energy from the crowd. And if you don't know how to manage that energy and you push yourself too hard, you sometimes overexert and then you run out of breath or run out of being able to perform the sounds, all those kind of things. And I think 
a lot of people are going to get a bit of a, or a few people might get a bit of a shock when they realize how different that really is, you know? And I, I do wonder as well, like how many people are, are, have been inspired by Delo in the sense he, like, I remember meeting him uh, at a really small event. Um, a, 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 I think it was Cardiff, maybe. Uh, it was a great event, don't get me wrong. But he um, he had his book then, which had a lot of routines yeah. in it. And I think we all have our idea of, of our routines, but the more that you break down your structures and your plan, like the, the more that you're really aware of what it is you're going to do and you really believe in it, the, the easier it is to stay calm, uh, to manage your energy. Um, so I do wonder if people are thinking like that and how deeply everyone's preparing for each other. Like, does everyone mm. have for every person? And if not, what are the ways that they're like, they're preparing for that. Is it that they actually have um, sort of different set routines, but then a section is dedicated to maybe each person? There's lots of interesting ways that you can do it, but like the age of, uh, of freestyling in battles, I think is um, for a long time, right? Hasn't been good enough. But now there's this extra level where you can have a perfect set of rounds, but then if you're not adapting your- exactly. Energy, and and your routines it's a it's a you gotta be flexible for any kind of situation coming at you the kickback was a great example of this because they got 24 hours to do this but at a live event you don't have even a second you've got like you've got the time that they're beatboxing for to try to think but then you've got to think while there's 5,000 people screaming a really big sound system a host like so much going on while you're in your head you're formulating your next response if you don't have something prepared already it's chaos I think a good example of that is Kenny and I'm sorry to bring him up Kenny I love you bro you know this but like he he he's potentially the best beatboxer in the world he has that potential absolutely um, agreed talent he's next time, level I know a lot of people who watch his stuff know he freestyles a lot and that's let him down a lot in battles because he, he's kind of trying to formulate a response on the spot without having something structured. D-Lo talked a lot, a lot about this as well, where he, he has all these routines ready and he's able to kind of just swap parts out to fit to the other person. So he doesn't have to it's rearrange small. or come up with a whole new idea he's got a solid routine next level too yeah and then he just maybe switches the melody out with the melody from the other person and that's like a callback straight away to the other person's response but it's still his finished beat i think this stuff you gotta is so be able important. to react yeah you gotta be able to react very fast and you need to make decisions very fast so it is it is not only just being a really good beatboxer but the mental aspect is really where the difference is happening basically how how days. have you done that in the past reeps how have you done that yeah i guess my system was similar to dilo's in the sense that i um like especially in the early days where i would have very set routines and then would i basically leave spaces that were there for responding to my opponent and um based on what they did i would maybe throw in something that they've done by like uh, mimicking or copying because that the thing is with copying and countering you can lose your soul like you can lose your own identity right because you end up playing their game instead of just being there so i always wanted to like be myself that was always my 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 rule planning every um every round but then having the second half which can be loose art because my the thing that i always found challenging because it's better now because for example you guys have really helped with this is just the quality of the of the production is so cared for that you kind of roughly know what you're walking into, like sonically. So when you get on the sound system, as we said, it's um, it varies and it can feel very different, but it's actually enhancing in a positive way the full spectrum. Where what used to happen in a lot of battles is I would go up and a lot of my deepest deepest sounds. Um, basically wouldn't translate because of a specific mix. So a lot of uh, like transient bass bases and other ways of mixing it meant that some beatboxers were very, very at the advantage, others had a disadvantage, where now it's much more balanced. Um, so having to, as soon as I went on a mic in a battle, I'd be like, <coughs> and that way I would know what the frequencies are and like, okay, and that I would choose a routine based off that. So you don't want to be thinking about things like that. You just want to be battling, right? But staying on your toes is good um, in, the, in the past. Uh, but I think now being really prepared 
being sure of yourself, knowing like what's um, like how you want to damage your opponent in a in a positive way. Um, yeah, that, that's what it's all about. Yeah, it's interesting you bring that up. So you're basically talking about you've had so many bad experiences with sound systems. You've learned to play to the sound system as well, not just to the crowd and not just to the judges or to the battle of the person, but also battling the sound system. We've talked about this in person before. Yeah. But that's such an interesting concept that you're changing well, the actual sound palettes you're going to use in that round because you know some won't actually translate on that sound system. Yeah, well, absolutely. And that, something I've said before, which people find a bit uh, surprising, is that there is no such thing as pure beatboxing. So, and, and I'll say that again, there is no such thing as pure beatboxing. Basically... If you think of the way that beatboxing is mixed on stage, that also yeah. might walking around the room that you're in, like all of these things affect uh, the mics that you're using. They always affect uh, and uh, your day you're, as well. But, but those, um, but those changes uh, before used to be so varying and dynamic and crazy that you didn't have any control. You didn't always know what you're walking into. Where now I feel like you guys have done a really good job at trying to create a really comfortable and powerful um, sonic environment for beatboxers to come in and, uh, yeah, come in and perform. And that's what's needed for them to, to, to be their best. Because you can do the best routine in the world. And I've seen it happen. I'm not going to kind of go into it. We have a yeah. string of the best, <laughs> the best artists in the world, and they can be let down by the sound. So, mm. so yeah, be ready. Um, I've actually, there's two things that I'm preparing at the moment. One is a, is a routine planner. So it's something that can help people plan their routines, which I think is really, really needed. And an, another little tip for people, if you don't have expensive um, kind of gear or monitoring equipment or headphones, a really good way to practice is actually by putting um, basically some cotton bud in your ears. Because if you practice your routines with your ears covered and you feel very comfortable, you're actually able to use that as monitoring in certain environments. Great advice. Yeah. This is yeah. a great so, advice. So there's lots of interesting little cheat codes if you are if you look hard enough. I mean, if you look at the old school guys, they used to always practice like this, you know, boom, boom, <laughs> so you can hear yourself in your head better. But yeah, should we? Um, um, maybe sorry. one last thing against all odds. <laughs> Uh, became a YouTube member, a legacy member. Thank you so much. Hey. You made a donation and became a member. This is great support. I really appreciate it. And just to reflect on what Harry said, I, I know Skiller gave an advice once that I want to put out. Um, you could also go into a studio, close all the windows, put on a jacket, and then practice for a few hours. So it gets really <laughs> hot. You know, on stage, usually with the lighting and all those things, you start sweating. Get used to this kind of stage environment. So when you go on stage, it kind of becomes familiar to you. That will make it easier for everybody to become a habit how it is to perform on stage and obviously go out on the street and bask. I mean, that's also another opportunity, but anyways, we go and watch the next, uh, wild card video. Thank you everyone for listening yeah. to us talking. Yeah. Um, uh, there was a lot of wisdom though. Let's not forget that. Yeah. But let's go back to the entertainment side, go away <laughs> from the education here and let's watch some videos, right? Wait, Thank wait, I, I just reaps for the inputs though. I, I just saw a really nice comment from wallet. Shout out to wallet in the chat. Shout out to wallet. You got you got Reaps one talking about, us. you got Reaps one talking about battle experience in a GBB live stream, and you think that's boring? Like, <laughs> so shout out to her. She's calling out all the Thank people that just much. want to see reactions. I'm sorry, guys. I know we talked a lot, but we'll get back to reactions now. It's, it's good. No, I no, but I mean, topics. maybe, maybe let's just say it. I feel, I think, just big shout out to Reaps. Honestly, he is. He hey. is He's not just a phenomenal beatboxer, but the way he performed over so many countries and over so many years, there's just so much to give back to other people. So listen and learn when Harry's when Harry's talking. So thank you so much again for being here today with us, and I hope you're having a great time. Obviously, no, it's great. Very quickly, good to like, yeah, just to check in and and say yo. And I understand that it's not for everyone, but. For me, if I give one bit of advice or we talk about one thing that helps one artist become GBB champion at some point, then like that, that's that's what that's what I'm interested in is making champions. Um, so yeah, think, but yeah, let's get back to let's get back to the amazing the amazing. I artists. think your your wisdom is 
super essential and really valuable. So I think a lot of people who are just watching it might just be beatbox fans and not necessarily professionals themselves. So I can understand they just want to see the reactions. But for professional beatboxes, this information is, is a gold mine. And a uh, shout out to your hat, by the way, Bass Ventura Cap. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I, think I just Bass Ventura, the uh, absolute yeah. legend in the UK scene. Yeah. All right, Bass let's fine. do it. Let's watch it. Ray Ayanami. This is a tag team wildcard. GBB 2021 World These guys look funky. Nice, nice. I'm excited. Two, three, four. What does a window do? Let me call it. What do I want? Where you are here? The drum and bass challenge vibes, right? Where you are said they were from japan right yep yep yeah shout out to everyone in japan much love to the family there i mean again tag team i just see way too much potential in here i know it's tough times for people to come together and meet up and practice but good luck everyone for on the tag team section thank you for the experience greetings again to japan um i love also this country so much i love japanese food can't wait to to meet all of you guys very very soon i hope back to the subject right. of food again i think we end up talking about food on every single stream and i gotta say japanese food is the best food it culture in the world there's no <laughs> debating that sorry um but yeah that was sick uh so many crazy unique sounds chucking the post snare in there a bit the only yeah. thing i can get only thing i would say in terms of critical feedback is maybe watch the um the pitch a little bit. I think a lot of the notes were out of key with each other. That was the only thing that stood out for me in terms of. Didn't they use feedback. different microphones by chance? I think that no, was they, probably they, an issue. They, they used the stereo uh, Zoom. Okay. All right. Um, and that's yes. also a problem because you've got the X, Y axis. So if you're sitting I off the right, you can hear like the, beep yeah. the, the guy on the right, you could only hear in the right headphone, for example. <laughs> mm -hmm. And it's, it's not good for, for mixing purposes if you have drums only on the right side. Anything below, any frequencies below 200 hertz or 150 hertz should be directly mono in the middle. But yeah, that's a, that's a technicality. <laughs> All right, Kindo is up next. Let's go. Hello, hello. Kindo, hope you guys enjoyed this, and this is my solo wild card for the Grand Beat Rock Battle. Oh, I love it. What's up, dude? <laughs> Great energy. Nice, nice start. Wait. Ooh. 
interesting wow. details. Wow. Whoa. Wow. Oh. unique again if you're watching this do a shout out for us i love these techniques they make me happy and you have a great vibe as a human being like your energy and presence was just very important in this video i think combined with these techniques and and the showmanship that you kind of brought in with your vibe beautiful video thank you for your wild card man i enjoyed it yeah, yeah some, I'll, of the I'll, notes, some of the details in there i've not heard before like some yeah 100 percent unique patterns i also want to point Strong. something out from the technical sound aspect, he used an SM7B, which already has a pop filter built in, but then he used another pop filter in front, which is a really smart move, because if you look at his outward bass sounds, he has a lot of airflow. So he understood his own style enough to know that an extra pop filter would actually help his sound. Like a good example is D'Lo, for example, doesn't have much outward airflow, so he doesn't need to rely on a pop filter as much as someone else might. I think understanding how your how you recreate your sounds on a physical aspect is so important to re to recording and the technical side of of producing your own beatboxing. So shout outs to that little detail there. That was really nice. Please let's do a shout out. Let's do a shout out. I'm <laughs> like I'm eager to do this, but um, very quick. Yeah, Aaron, sorry. Go I was ahead. gonna say Hydeful last time did this as well, but if if Hydeful you're in the background, take a list of the guys that we're like shouting out that we want to get a shout out from, and we can hit them up afterwards. It means the world to me, and, and it means also the world to me that BSFX and Broodmar Baker became a member. Thank you, thank you, thank you for helping and supporting us. Please stay a member as well, everybody that became one. Well, it, you just make my day so much better. Thank you so much, everybody. And I would say let's go into the next one, which is Zhang Zhe. Zhang Zhe. I love this dude. I love this guy so much. Hey yo, what's up? This is Zhang Zhe from China, and this is my loop station world car for GBB 2021. World League. Ooh, what an interesting second device there, eh? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I've heard the production value on this is next level. Do you have to, like, green light the second device? Yes. And I love the video with the left and the right. It looks so peaceful. Oh, it sounds peaceful too. <laughs> Where are the angels flying through the air? How sweet. I already recognize the song. Is it a cover? Yeah. singing brother
goosebumps. Time means. Uh, isn't that the name of the song? Old yeah, time yeah, rock and I mean, what does it mean? Like, I wonder why why it's called old time. Old well, time rock and maybe I wouldn't I wouldn't say that was old time rock and roll exactly, but no, the, the lyrics are that old time rock and roll. Oh, of what... course, yeah, no, yeah. Sorry, I didn't. <laughs> it sounds. Like, I know it's a cover, but yeah, very different yeah. energy to the original. Oh man, it was beautiful. I, I I'm so blown away by the production value on that. How like, do you think it's been done? Um, I think through the, through a lot through the second device. Um, I actually, I know that Zhang Zhe puts so much importance on uh, mixing and production value. Uh, so I think I think he's just spent a lot of time getting his presets in the second device down, so that he can just press a button and then that section through the beatbox, the singing, whatever, comes through really clean. But yeah, he, he spends Beautiful. a lot of time on this. Yeah. I uh, respect to Tsang Zhe, who's been around for so many years. Um, he was in GBB solo tag team. Happy to see he's going to try to to enter now in the loops as well. He's very a well-rounded artist that goes just many different directions, having a great career in China. I think he's a great musician. He records great music videos. Obviously, he's it's, it's so nice of him to always share a lot of his work with us as well that we can represent on Swiss Beatbox. Um, yeah. Very, very nice work. Respect to you. And and if Aaron says there is good quality, then, you know, then I have to, <laughs> I have to accept that's true, you know, and it sounded really, really well done. I, I want to say, uh, for uh, if there's any Chinese guys in the chat, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think we spent a long time trying to master his, the way you say his name is, uh, I think, Changzi. So all those people wondering how to say it, it's always Zhang Zi, it's Zhang Zi. I think that's the right way. Don't don't murder me if I'm wrong. And I want to I want to go back one. Sorry guys for ranting like this, but I need to reference back to my last statement because I think I started an avalanche in the chat section when I said Japanese food is the best food in the world. I was just went crazy. Sorry guys, I don't mean to. I love so like look at me. I love a lot of different food, but for me. It's it's number one. I got a question here. What about South African snacks, brother? I got Condor Beatbox asked me about that. That's I know me. That's me. That's you. Papuni knows about it. The only South African snacks I really know is biltong. Because uh, growing up in Australia and New Zealand, we had a lot of South Africans come over and bring biltong, which is basically South African beef jerky. That stuff is the best beef jerky in the world, for sure, hands down. So I'm not going to debate that. But I don't know There's much more than that. Lots of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm not, I didn't realize I was going to get like a culinary lesson coming on Swiss B-Box. Yeah. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> you should know this by now. <laughs> yeah, so by the way, by the way, just very quick, Base Ventura made a little donation of five British pounds. Thank you so much. And much love to your for the respect. Hey. Go buy his merch. He's a legend and he's yeah. making great stuff. We did it like a little, a little uh, he was very, very like awesome. He did like an inspiration series where... He just uh, very politely asked me and uh, Tom Farm to do some sketches, which he turned into some pieces. So, yeah, he's a a really great up and coming UK beatboxer uh, and a mad mad baseline. So I definitely see yeah. him as one of the next in line. Like he gets better and better and better. But anyway, 
I'm not going to keep bigging up UK beatboxers. Uh, it's just uh, <laughs> like well, I mean, UK. The five British pounds. I mean, they're that that currency is strong. So shout out to the to, to the people in the UK. The much love for you. Himself, then it's <laughs> big up BV. Yo, so guys, like I can listen to to one more, and then I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to shoot. It's a good Maybe. one, it's Matai. Let's watch Mate and I just wanted to kindly ask maybe Harry, could you stay for one more? I mean, Mr. Heidful in the background. Could we watch with Reeves together also Alex Zinio? I, I, I really want to watch Alex Zinio with Reeves together and then Harry's gonna drop a 20 second freestyle drop out. That would All be right, amazing. So we got Mate, Alex Zinio, and then a Reeps one freestyle. Is that cool with you, bro? Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, Thank yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Harry. Thanks, bro. Yo, yo, I'm Matei, and this is my walker for GB21 World League. Ooh, two loop stations. Look at that. What just happened? Wow. I'm feeling this. Okay, okay. Oh shit, something's coming. Oh my goodness. Take off your blindfold. Take off your blindfold. Take off your blindfold. Yo. Take off your blindfold. Take off your blindfold. Take off your blindfold. Yeah. So sick, man. Wow. Oh my god. Hey, everyone. Damn. I'm I'm a bit speechless after that one. Mm. Uh, was, uh, it, uh, it was really good. It was really good. I just um, uh, great voice. I did not expect this from 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 Ate. Great singing. It's, Respect, it's man. one of one of the things I noticed from Camp that I, he had a really good voice, but he's it's, he's been working. It's obvious he's worked so much on on his on his stuff since then because I just seeing the level up. It's crazy. I think the only thing I can say production wise is there wasn't much sub low end in the mix. That was the only thing missing for me. If there was more sub in the bottom end, it would have just hit harder. 
but the rest of it was mm-hmm. incredible. I got I got actual goosebumps in the middle. Music of that. wise, it was it was fantastic. I have to yeah. be honest. Great build up. A lot of a lot of passion. It was music, man. Thank you so much. Beatbox yeah. is music on the looper, guys. Respect and uh, cool with the two looper. Uh, you used two loopers. I'm not quite sure. It yeah, was really two nice. RC five hundred really fives. Nice. Yeah. Um, just yeah. Sorry. No, no, no. It's totally fine. We've I just want to it. say, um, we speak about loopers. We have Sam Perry in the chat who became a basic member. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sam Perry. Um, I'm pretty sure you would have loved to react with us together on this. Maybe Sam Perry, if you're around, we could we could do um since we have the kickback loop station, um, you know, uh, contest running. You could maybe join us and react with us. And, the end of the month on, on some videos together. That would be pretty cool. But uh, other than that, we also got a donation from Elliot Peters. And Elliot is saying, thank you for all you are doing for the beatbox world. Love to Swiss beatbox. And we had uh, Against All Odds again from Texas. Greetings to Reeves one, he said. So shout out to Reeves. Shout out to Elliot Peters. Um, thank you so much. I uh, guess you are from Switzerland. So I really, really am happy about your donation. It's a big, big contribution and help. Thank you so much for that. And a big shout out to Austria with Mate, man. Um, yeah. To the Vienna crew. You're killing it, man. Respect. I want to say to Sam, big ups, man. It's been a while. We need to catch up. <laughs> Message me, bro. We need to have a chat. I miss you, mate. I hope you're good. But yeah, man, Mate is crazy. The level up is insane. The singing is incredible. The production value, the composition. That was that was awesome. I have a feeling that's going to do well. All right, Reeps has to go soon. We watch Alexinho have a little freestyle, and that's it. Because hey. I want to point out one thing, as you know, Reeps one will be a judge at Grand Beatbox Battle in the solo category because he was booked Whoa. to be a judge at GBB last year. So we transfer that to this year. Um, Alexinho should face. have been Alexinho should have been a colleague with. With Reeps, but then Alexinho went out of his way, very egotistical. He just thinks he's something better, or I don't know. But uh, you know, respect to Alexinho for sure. No, no, I'm obviously joking. You oh. have to understand, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm kidding. But um, Reeps is still going to judge. We will have a replacement, obviously, and let's watch maybe um, what Alexinho's uh, reply is here now with his wild card. Yeah, before you guys play, like I, um, yeah, I loved. I love that some of the judges have decided to do a wild card. Um, I like I teased with something, um, but the uh, yeah the main thing is I think Alex. The crazy thing about Alex, right, is most people will know that he won the world championships and then he went back and won the French champs, like he, which after being world champion. So that heart and that passion is is so inspiring. It's inspiring for me to like see that level of commitment and love for like love for battling and i didn't know whether i was allowed to say that i'm judging but yeah i'm obviously excited to judge the solo category take it very seriously um and i've been i i have been watching everyone like i've been silent i've been a little bit in the shadows as i can be because i'm working on some pretty crazy stuff right now but i've been watching and i'm so excited for that battle um so yeah anyway let's see what alex has to offer and much love to alexinio when I saw your face, Reeps, I thought for a second you were about to say, actually, I'm not going to judge anymore. <laughs> While he was saying that, I was like, oh, no, not, an- <laughs> not again. I'm going to go into this- the past, make a wild card and enter. That's like- <laughs> one, one, one thing that a lot of people don't realize is that, because a lot of criticism comes through on the judges, is that so many of the best beatboxers are entering the competition. We like To find judges is actually quite difficult. Because they have to be seasoned experts who understand the judging system and so many variables. And then you've got most of the guys that you might want to pick to be a judge actually trying to enter the battle. So it's it's not an easy job. to. Thanks, find. Harry, for doing the job. Much love. You, First bro. of all, much love to Reeves one. Uh, he was invited to be a judge last year. Obviously, all the judges from last year should be transferred into this year. We're going to announce it. Depends really like who qualifies and all these kind of uh, all these kind of things. But um, I want to say this is um, something really special with Alexinho. Uh, as Harry said, much, much love to him. I was just joking before that. You, you got to be brave. You got to be brave and you got to be hungry. You want to level up and you want to develop yourself as a character that strong if you want to go that route down. So... 
respect to Alexinho, so I wanted to watch this really quick with Reeves because because of this reason. I would say let's play it and then let's have a little freestyle of Harry. Let's go. Hey, you everyone. It's Alexinho and this is my word card for the 2021 UEFA Champions League. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Ah, uh, UEFA Champions Uh, League. This is my wild card for the 2021 GBB World League solo category. (laughs) <laughs> Ooh, look how beautiful it vibrates <laughs> he could travel to the past harry look at that this is a great harmony so good you can see the gbb stage wow yo Good to see you again. <laughs> wow. Do you really love this originality? A lot of sounds happen in this routine. <laughs> It ends with danger. Yeah, I'm destroying my wall card. I come back. <laughs> <laughs> I am the brother of the father of the new school. So <laughs> 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 so cool. Uh, yeah, just... I think it's one of the it's one of the best wild cards I've ever seen. I have to Man. say. There's so much happening in it, and showmanship goes through so many energies and so many sounds. Originality. And yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah, world champ material, right? Wow. I, th- I think if, if you want to, if I was going to give someone a video to reference to make the perfect wild card, just from my opinion, that would be one of them. Just it has it's really good. Yeah. There is musicality, fun, showmanship. It's just like you just enjoy what to watch this kind of video, you know. So great job, Alexinho. You you did really, really well. I, I heard there was a bit of controversy in the scene. People were saying that he didn't take it seriously because he's trolling. But I think that's a, just part of showmanship, man. He's putting that's on a his performance. character. He's making you well, laugh. He's he's confident. You connect with him. Yeah, it's he's it's, always like that. It's his personality translated to stage. So it's not that he's not taking it seriously. He's tr- showing his true self, which is yeah. actually gives you more points. Like it's so hard to to connect realistically in front of a camera and show your real self. I think that's a yeah, here's, skill. Here's my feedback. Alexinho, try to be a little bit more serious next time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, no, thank you. Thank you. And again, I, I feel like, you know, he doesn't need to do that, and he's trying, and I think he tried very hard, and he completed yeah. really, really well this this video, you know. I loved the beginning till the end. It was just amazing. Thanks for the entertainment, brother. And before we come to the last little section, before Reeps one has to leave, me and Sintra are going to stay a little bit. I want to say, Paul, did LT, thank you so much for your donation. Every donation that we receive, it is a big, big major help and a really really important contribution. Thank you so much, 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 much respect to all of you. And uh, if you want to become a member, I'm pointing this out right now. Sorry, Reeps, I know you want to perform, but I want to just say it. Become a member, support us. We want to build community. It means the bottom of the heart to us. And now the stage is yours, Mr. Reeps. Hey. It is so good to be hanging out again after what has been a crazy year and a half. GBB is going to be absolutely insane. 
And uh, yeah, I look forward to coming back. been practicing inward base yeah uh, man yeah, it, that's I'm, I'm hiding stuff for gbb love to everyone out there um for people that don't know me, but do with me there's, there's lots to come so big up and chat soon love you guys i wanted to say man it's been an honor and a pleasure having you here thanks for joining us really it was really nice i uh, appreciate Thank you let me uh, yeah give some bits of advice and catch you guys soon. Harry, yes, man. Your beatboxing is amazing. Like Dilo last Always. week, blow our minds, man. Thank you very, very much. Have a, have a wonderful rest of the week. Maybe you're going to tune in tomorrow to the live stream and on Friday to see who's the winner of the loop and the yes. solo category. <laughs> man, the solos, I'm very, very intrigued. I've seen the judges struggling. So, yeah, good luck. Let's go. Yeah, man. So, well, brother. See have you soon, bro. Week. Stay in touch. All right. Back, back to the original team, mate. How you going? How you going, mate? Hang out. Hang out, mate. Pretty good. Hang out, mate. Pretty good. I'm happy, to, uh, I'm happy we, we can continue at least a little bit. But shout out to Reeps, everybody. If you if you want, you know, go give him a follow. But I would say we're going to stick around maybe a little bit more. There's quite a few really good ones left. Um, I would love to watch should, some. Should we, should we stick around for another 20 minutes or so till 5 p.m.? Or do you want to go a bit longer? A little bit longer. Let's do a little right. bit for everyone. Let's let's really you know watch some and then and then we let's see when we come to the point we say like let's watch three more and then then we bounce off. You know, easy. At five thirty would have been cool. Let's let's be let's do it like this. Let's for for everyone in the chat we're gonna do it like we watch a wild card. Ten seconds reflect. We watch the next one. So we bring a few more through the list. Okay, if that's okay it, for you, Aaron. It might feel like 10 seconds, but it's usually like five minutes that we talk in between. I think we talk longer than we react for, for sure. I've Let's been, try. You know, Let's you know, try be the, efficient. <laughs> Hurtful. I'm excited for the next one. Let's play it. I, I love I love watching and reacting, though. I just love talking about it. But yeah, you're right. You're right. Let's yeah. Go. Let's go. Yeah, too. We got to do this more. All right. So... Shout even maybe, Arsenal. you know what we could hey, do? Well, guess, we could even from... watch some more, you know, even after the winners are actually announced, you know? Oh, yeah. I don't see why not. Let's, like, let us and know in the perfect. chat. In, in the perfect. chat, please let us know. If you want to see us keep reacting to more, because there's so many, after the announcements of the final lists, let us know in the chat, and we'll look at doing some more of these. But, yeah. Let's, let's keep let's, it always let's... peaceful. Let's put the hate out, you know. We're we're here for the law of everybody, you know. Positivity, man. Positivity. Man. We got we will think about it. So let's we wait with our answer, but there will be more reactions to do in the future, you know. Yeah, man. All right, yeah, let's man. go. Let's go. Let's go. Holy, holy.
Malaysia and I want to win the GBB World Cup 2021 World League. And uh, before the video kicks in, um, I don't see it right now, but um, I want to say that one playing. <laughs> was it playing? No, I haven't yeah. seen it. Just reopen the link from the Skype chat. That's all you have to do. It's the same link as from before. Uh, I see we're now at eight seconds. Is that true? <laughs> yeah. Now okay. we're going back to the beginning. Again. All right. That's good. But um, I just want to say once GVB is coming out and all these events, we're going to react once a week and we will try to always have a guest with us. So stay tuned. Yeah. Be excited. Let's go, Herzl. Boom. <laughs> hey, what up, guys? Herzl here from Malaysia and I want to win the GVB World Cup 2021. I'm so excited to see this one. And now it stopped. Yeah. <laughs> Can we continue? I just paused it. Is it paused on your side? Yes, it is. Okay. I just wanted to jump in. I just looked at the description and the, the lyrics are in the description. Which is nice. So if you open up that, you might be able to understand uh, better what he's saying. That's what he, that's oh, okay, what he said cool. anyway. Yeah. All right. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is that? That's the Po. It's the Po now. Now you oh, better crap. get to the other side. This boy in the club, get your pedal last. Yeah, I'm not the only one, but my flow's original. Ready to be doing Lady Adder, guys. So Could you fuck a bit up, get it added night. Put it up and I leave you glad to fight. So listen well, because it's basically the old I get it right. <laughs> this is about to be a paper standard like. <laughs> <laughs> this is about to be a paper standard like. <laughs> 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 What is that? Whoa. <laughs> this is about to be a <laughs> We sold I just witness right now, everyone. Dude, was this real? Dude, like, how was this real? Oh my gosh, that's I mean, the crazy. It was part. real? Yeah, but like that's the crazy the, man. The frequencies the in chat. my head, the frequency in my headphones. I haven't seen them there, but the frequencies in my headphones didn't sound like it's possible to do with one mouth. Like at the same time, the po scratch whatever the hell we want to call it i can't i keep calling it snare but then it's scratch but it's not a scratch it's, it's not a snare i don't know <laughs> the pose scratch Impressed. the way he uses it it like it layered over the top of a snare so that it sounded like it was going at the same time it didn't sound humanly possible that was insane i just saw a note from hideful he mentioned that this could be inward it's an inward po which i don't think i've seen before but he did it I outward think... as well I think Herzl has a few sounds and techniques that nobody else can do in this world. And that makes him very, very, I'm serious right now. This makes him very, very interesting and very special. I feel like I want to work with this person. At least, at least he needs to do another shout out for Swiss Beatbox, man. That would be like one of the biggest honors, you know, just for the happiness for my soul. But I'm egotistical right now. Forgive me on that. But, um, <laughs> this is this is this is really really good. Um, I know from a technical standpoint, this would get probably ten out of ten points from me for sure. We could, you know, I would have to re go in. We we need to re-listen to this maybe a few more times to get a clearer picture but for a one-time watch this was blowing my mind away um that i'm very crazy now 
I'm very happy right now. I'm also very happy with Marco Nicoletti for your membership. And I'm also going to say Harrison Treble for the eight Aussie dollars. Thank you very, very much. Your help hey. is so important. Anyone in the chat, you know, if you want to donate, if you want to help us out, you know, make it through the tough crisis with COVID. Uh, we want to build also momentum with our members. We have things in the pipeline coming. Become a member now. Support us. Stay a member. Um, big shout out to that. Right. We said we will do 10 seconds in between, but this wildcard was just too crazy. And I see the next one is Shazam who worked with us. So I'm getting hey. emotionally right, excited right now. Shout out to Shazam. Go subscribe him if you haven't yet. He's very active. He does a great job. So go support him. Show some love. But I would say let's go and watch it. Unless, Aaron, you have something about Hurtsel to finish. I just want to say shout out to Australia, Thanks. mate. Fucking big ups, mate. Thanks for the donation. You're a sick C word. You know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> well, Let's well. Go. Let's there's go, a, Shazam. Wait, there's another one. There's another one. It's in Russian world. It's Romani something. I can't really probably. You can it, but... you can read you can read. Uh, what's the yeah, name of that lettering again? Uh, acrylic language. But thank you for the SPX light. It, uh, just read the second word. It's Romani. Or something i'm not quite sure but yeah big shout out for the memberships and big shout out to, to vivk what's the name vivk bodo underscore yt thank you so much for another light membership it makes my day as i said already many times a better one but let's go with shazam boom all right let's do Yo, it shazam and this is my wild card for gbb 2020 <laughs> he looks so cocky <laughs> 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 Yo Shazam, is this really who you wanna be? I can show you all the things that you wanna see. I can show you how to live, just trust me. Don't worry. He's wearing a cancer. I'll just be so. my I just be myself. same i just be myself Minuses. I would have recommended to use a DPA microphone in there, you know, bro. But um, all good, all good, all good. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. But respect, man. I think yeah. the boxing got level. better. He leveled uh, up a lot. But he needs to level up, you know, to continue level up. And and I'm proud of him, you know. That's yeah. that's important. And just continue to level up. Promise me that. Uh, if you win a wild card, all good for you. If you don't win one, I know you're going to to continue, but just make me happy. You know, that was it was nice to watch you, bro. It was nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You hear that? You. you have to make Papuni happy. Yes. And, <laughs> and just bro, man. Continue, continue, continue. And I'm 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 proud of you, you know. It's a, Big it's a shame you're not with Swiss beatbox anymore, but we feel you and it's it's good if you show results. If you don't show results, we have a problem, but you, there are results right now. So everything's fine, bro. Much love to you. Viele liebe Grüße nach Berlin, my bro. I miss you. Let's go. Let's <laughs> go meet up. Straße runter, I guess you yeah. could say. I don't know. Uh, he lives around the corner from me, by the way, guys, if you didn't know that. Um, I do want to say one thing. I know my, um, Shazam has been working a lot on on 
leveling up his mixing and mastering skills. He does that stuff himself, a lot of it, the work. Um, there was one thing I noticed on the left side was like just one reverb was panned to the left and it was just throwing me off completely. Like I could just kept concentrating on this random reverb coming through on the left headphone. I didn't know what that was, but I'm guessing most people probably won't even notice that. That's my ears. I can't help it, guys. It's just I've been doing this too long. <laughs> but yeah, big ups, man. And, and leveled up a jump, lot. Before we jump into the next one, again, Shazam is active, supporting the beatboxing scene, doing a good life there. Go, if you haven't subscribed, go subscribe now yep. to Shazam's account and watch his content. If if you, I mean, we, we are reacting, but we are noobs at reacting. I think he's the pro <laughs> reactor. So go check out the real deal at Shazam's YouTube account after the stream um, and so stick around with us. I want to add to this as well. Um, all of the guys that we've been watching, that we've been reacting to, please make sure you go check out their their social media, Instagram, uh, YouTube. We haven't been shouting out each one because there's so many. We don't have all of their individual accounts. But uh, please make sure you go and check them out. Give them some love because this is what this is about. It's about bringing focus to these artists and helping to support them. That's why we want to react. We want to help people realize how many amazing artists there are out there. So go give those guys some love. Subscribe to their channels. Follow their Instagram, Facebook, all of that stuff. It's really important. Sinjo, check, check the chat what Harrison Travel wrote from Australia. Thank you so much for the 15 Aussie dollars donation. <laughs> nice one, bro. Big ups, Harrison, mate. Yeah, sick. Nice to see you there, mate. Fucking Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. <laughs> so, oi, oi, and, oi. Um, I, I, honestly, it's, it's, it's almost physically impossible to do the Australian accent without swearing. It's, it's not possible. <laughs> it's, it's, the accent is made for just constant swear words all, all the way through. So I'm sorry about that. I try. It's like takes all my concentration when I'm doing the Australian accent not to swear on the stream. So forgive me for that, guys. Thank you so much for the donation. And thank you, everybody that became a member today. Thank you so much. It really is a huge support and help. We're very, very grateful. Believe me. So everybody that does help us out, you know, thank you very much in the name of Swiss Beatbox. Thank you very much, guys. Become a member. We're at 121 members right now. Our goal is to reach 200. You know, if you decide to become a member, also stay one. But I would say let's watch the next one. Let's go. Uh, I want to say, hold on, sorry, before we go, I have a question from Condor Beatbox. Uh, shout outs to South Africa, by the way. He asked me, did you ever visit South Africa? Unfortunately, no. When I was uh, in like primary school and high school in New Zealand, um, one of my best friends was South African. Uh, we used to do swimming uh, together and his parents would bring over fresh biltong from mm -hmm. South Africa. And that's how I found biltong. Oh, yes. Yeah, and I was just, I became addicted to that stuff. But I've never actually been myself, and I really want to go. So hopefully one day we'll come out there and, and link up, Condor. Shout out to you, man. Thanks for Where are you presence. based, Condor? Where are you based? Uh, let us know in the chat. Definitely. While, while we're waiting for that, let's uh, go to Dr. Slow Sweat. Oh, my God, what a name. That's so dope, man. I love let's the creativity. Let's do it. Yo, this is Eshwin, aka Dr. Slow Sweat from the Netherlands, and this is my wild card for the GBB 21 Solar Loop Station category World. Look League. at that tie Avenger. as well. That beautiful presence. So professional. <laughs> and, the, and the stuffed animals. Oh, this is so meta. I love it. Ooh, look at those camera angles. Nice work. <laughs> This is kind of Dutch style, isn't it? So gonna 
Out of twenty for showmanship, for sure. Yeah, absolutely, oh the dressing, God. the stuff, oh, animals. <laughs> oh, I just, I want to see you on stage, like, like you remind me a lot of Freddie Beats in a way of just being entertaining to watch, regardless of what you're doing. Oh yeah. man, Hello, my name's Pierce. That was that was so awesome. I don't, I can't remember seeing him in the list. I have to go through and check. I'm sure it's there, but man, that was Very so amazing. entertaining. This would yeah. be so nice on a GBB stage as well. I feel like people would have a great time with that. Oh um, yeah. I just want to give I just want to give a bit of critical feedback. Um, the production value, the mixing, really needs work. So one one thing a lot of people realize is on the loop station you have a master compressor, and especially low ba bass sounds. Oh. Oh, that was playing. Okay, now it stopped. <laughs> All it was right. not um, me. I know it wasn't no, six seconds. I get it. I get it. It was. Yeah, yeah. I've oh, got sorry. it. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's a, so there's a master compressor on the loop, and if you don't like work around that, or at least change the settings that work well for your mixes, what happens is, is things like kicks and basses, like <laughs> when you put those in, it causes the compressor to slam down and and basically make everything else quiet. And if you're not watching those levels, you start losing sounds in the mix. So, the, for example, the kick lost a lot of detail in the background when he started piling on all those other frequencies. So I would just say work on your mixing skills, man, because everything else was sick. <laughs> nice voice, nice the tie. I, I, I thought it was pretty cool. And he was using also just the looper, right? But um, maybe let's go to the next one. Uh, it's going to be, we had to talk about South Africa. So we're going to watch Remix. But before, I really want to put out my gratitude for Vazuki MS or Vazuki Miss. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that. We have another legacy member locked in today. We're at 122 right now on our way to, to go and reach 200. So therefore, I just would like to say thank you so much. I know for a fact we need one more member and we reach 20 members today. So I'm pretty sure we can get that goal. Yeah. But anyone, anyways, um, thank you so much, everybody that is contributing to this um and i would say we're ready to contribute right now to remix from south africa i saw in the chat it was quite requested a bit yeah Sinjo, right yeah so we have high expectations and remix is obviously a fabulous beatboxer i just want to say one last shout out to dr slow sweat i love that show that was dope i really enjoyed that it was Absolutely. really entertaining thank you all right let's go Yo, what's happening, South guys? Africa. This is Dreamix from South Africa, and this is my wildcard video for the Grand Peepox Battle 2021 World League. Let's go. Okay. 
Wow. My monarch, I you love him. Bass line go, the treble. Oh, nice one. I'm a beast in a clown cage. Yeah. Started this from a young age. True. True. Yeah. Beast in a cage. Varieties of, of vibration bass are crazy, man. Exactly. Exactly. And and yeah, I mean, very well put together, very joyful to listen to how powerful he's using all the sounds at the same time while he's delivering that sound. I mean, I'm mm. very much impressed. It feels like from wildcard contest to wildcard contest, it's always stronger. I like yeah. to progress man and that's yeah that's man. cool and i feel like you know south africa also deserves it and the good thing is remix is because he won um the african um championships online he's already qualified for the seven to smoke so he will open it he will open the seven to smoke official eliminations yeah, um, there will be prelims at the at the seven to smoke, but not for remix. So he's in already. You can count on him that he will be a GBB regardless. But uh, good luck with yeah. your card. Good luck. Just to ex expand on that, so we do um, for those that are going to be at GBB um, for the seven to smoke, we do a pre elimination session similar to I guess you could say it's like um, American Idol, where we sit there at a table. It's an acoustic. Uh, pre-elim, you have a big line out the door and each person comes up to the table, you have a few judges sitting there and you show a one minute or so of beatbox and then from that a hundred names get picked and then we do a hundred eliminations at the venue, so real eliminations on stage and then from that you get the top eight that go to the seven to smoke. So what Papuni was saying is that Remix is the very first elimination on stage at the venue. Which is going to be crazy, man. I can't wait for this event. And the vet, oh, guys, the venue is crazy for the Seven to Smoke. It's a different location. It's not going to hold as many people. So it's going to be first come, first serve to get the Seven to Smoke tickets, which we do closer to the event, obviously. But man, the venue itself, it looks like a miniature industrial version of Berghain. If anyone knows about clubbing, experiences if anyone knows about Berghain in Berlin this place literally looks from the outside and the inside like a miniature version of Berghain it's cool. going to be insane we're going to stack the sound system in there it's I can't wait that's going to be I think that's going to be my favorite part of GBB this year it's going to be the seven to smoke <laughs> always always the yeah. official days are official but then the after party is the after party right I've, also uh, for us we can relax a little bit more because exactly. you know, the hard the hard work's done i don't have to be freaking out constantly so it's a chance for us to relax and have fun what are you gonna um, say mate sorry yeah no no thank you flavis for the membership um the next one is improver it was requested quite a bit in the chat as well so i would say mm -hmm. let's dive into this one and, and do it let's go, let's go. yeah yeah Hello, my name is Impuler. I'm from Russia. This is my solo wild card for the Grand Big Box Battle 2021 World League. It was all about only you 
and me <laughs> Only two of us <laughs> Maybe three Whoa. It was all about <laughs> On few <P-U-M-P>. and <laughs> few On few two of us <laughs> Maybe three Originality is there, y'all, for sure. Respect. Oh, oh, it's playing. Is it playing for you as well? Hold on. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. Okay, I paused it. Oh, guys. What can I say, man? Improver is always impressive. You know, he needs definitely to shout us out again. The last shout out he did for us was one of the craziest videos that is on Swiss Beatbox. If somebody asks me, show me a video of a beatboxer, I always am very happy to you know, give an example with that one, but um, good luck to you, Improver. Respect, man. I want to give a shout out to Inky who mixed that. I just looked at the description and uh, it said audio dot mixed and mastered by Inky. So you're dabbling, man. I'm really psyched to see that. I know that Inky is similar to my mind when it comes to learning about something. When he when he's into tech, he just throws himself in 100% and learns everything he can about the tech gear. Because he's younger, his mind is probably a bit more sharp than mine now. <laughs> so he's Respect, probably going to over, overtake me at some point soon. But um, with with mixing, I was really I was really impressed, man. It was a good job on the mix down. It sounded very beautiful in our ears, for yeah, man. sure, man. All right, biscuit, it's biscuit time, king of the groove. Let's go. Hey. <laughs> This was shot at night, that's pretty nice. Outside. This is a good example of that master compressor kicking in. No extra device, right? Yo, what's up? My name is Biscuit from the USA. I'm your online world hoop station champion. This is my wild card for the GBB 2021 World League. Yeah, man. This intensity complexity will make you. This intensity complexity will make you. This reminds me of something. City complexity gon' make you move. B I Z K I T, I'm the king. Now the city. Woo hoo! Woo hoo! Yeah. 
Show that flow. <laughs> I'm feeling it. I mean, I mean, we saw all these calm ones, you know, and now that it's just wow. Whew. Oh God, dude, I'm that that title is perfect. Oh, now we've got the solo from Biscuit as well. Oh Jesus, man, the composition, the structure of that was unbelievable. The only critical feedback again is mixing, like the placement. the The sub was too loud, so it compressed everything down. There was just a few things there. I couldn't understand your words because the sub was overriding it. But everything else besides the mix down was incredible, man. It's like, very different, yeah. Dude, the flow, like it was a perfect flow. Like you said, King of the Flow, it couldn't be a more fitting title. That that blew my mind, man. You can let's see me on, in the... Let's watch his solo. In the video. Oh, my God. That was crazy. Yep, let's do it. Biscuit solo. Hey, Biscuit from the USA. Wild card. wild card for the GBB 2021 World League. Underground ways can be had. so crazy Dude, it's not fair that you can be such a good looper and such a good solo beatboxer at the same all time around. it's an all-rounder dude uh, shout out to biscuit he's in the chat by the way man that was this kid dude dude Bruh. crazy i feel like again it's it's with remix the same like from wild card contest to wild card contest you actually get better and and your quality was just really good you you really deserve you know to to win once a wild card and good luck to you man for real um incredible talent your solo work is impeccable 
I'm a big fan. And then what you did on the loop station, I think was something that just really stands out as well. Congratulations. Shout outs to the USA. I think you're based in the New York, right? So big ups to you, man. Much it was love. Two of the two of the best wild cards I've seen so far from the same guy in different categories. That doesn't happen very often. That was yeah. pretty impressive. Big ups to you, Biscuit, man. Thanks. Thanks for joining us in the chat. And thanks for your awesome work. It's amazing. Really. Let's let's smash two more and then discuss how many we'll have to to then end it. Is that okay? We go with two in the playlist and then maybe we could I have I made some notes to some that I really would like to react, you know, to end it. I think but okay. let's, we, let's watch two more. 5:30 is pretty it's pretty late then, two and a half hours. We can go until then and have a discussion. So let's have two more for now. Let's have two yeah, more crowns, then I have a list. There's my list. solo wall for the Granby Books Battle 2021 World League. Let's go. Hey. Ah. I mastered this. <laughs> Drum and bass in your face. So sick. No chill. No chill. No to japan zero Shout chill <laughs> very nice wild card we appreciate it really appreciate it i love how he says like you're too chill because it's always you know you hear so often when someone's calling out another beatbox it's like man you need to chill down you need to calm down exactly. that's the first time i've i've heard someone say you're too chill man fucking <laughs> no chill yeah oh, dude. Was sick. all right abx let's go next one all right I've heard, I've seen this is really requested in the chat a lot. So right, now we're finally getting around to it. Let's give it, let's give it a go. Yo, this is ABX from India. And it's my wildcard view submission for GBB 2021 World Leaves. Nice background. Yo. Yo. Ish. Hit it with the flow. Hit it with the style. Hit it with the flow. Whoa. I like this hand movement. Wow, wow, wow. Meanwhile, 
Meanwhile, oh, yo, yo. Woo. He's a storyteller. Yo. to this already i can't remember no, we didn't we didn't why does it seem familiar those clicks that he did tick, 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 tick. wow incredible incredible that was dope so Super unique nice. so unique man Whew. i love that it was, was like shaking sick. my brain you know yeah thank shout you shout out to abx thank you ABX, yeah. for the experience so i mean we watched two more um we slowly do have to come to an end, but I just want to point this out to you, Sinjo. I also had a little mm. note on my side that we don't have to do it if we're going to do another stream, you know, but I wanted really to react to Villain, Untilled, Azel, Elisi, Roughly, and Big Man. These are, are six all... we have left. Yeah, those are all names <laughs> that we have to put in there. Um, if If we could, I mean, these are six, then let's go and do them, you know. But um, I don't want to take off your time. I have a call at six. I'm pretty sure we could probably try and finish it in the next 20 minutes. I have I have three team members right now waiting on some really important work to hand in <laughs> for Swiss Beatbox. But we can watch a couple more if if need be. I also really want to watch Garmon. I don't know if we reacted to that already. Did we do that last no, we time? No, we have not. We have not. That's, that's, another, definitely... that's someone on those side. So I think I think we should just add them to the list and we can do it for the next reaction stream. But if you want, we can do two more. So you can you can name the two more, the other two that you um, want to do. What do you think? Let's let's make Galmon plus two. I want to watch Untilt and Raffly. Okay, Untilt and Raffly sounds like a plan. Is that uh, okay, Mr. Hydefall? Hydefall. Yes, yes, we watch Garmon now and then Untilt and then Roughly, if that's okay for you. I can't, mine's not working anymore. I think I'm out of the group. So I'm reopening the link again. Okay. Uh, right now I've got KBA. <laughs> back to the beginning. Uh oh. Now, now I've got Garmon. Uh, so I just want to come back to that previous question we had for. Condor beatbox. Who's I don't know, the, the audio is playing right now. I can't concentrate. All right. Um, I don't have it. I don't have it. So oh, yeah. sure. you might have to reopen the link again. Mm -hmm. uh, Condor beatbox lives in Cape Town. So yeah, next oh, time that's we come, perfect. come back to Cape Town, maybe we'll link up for sure. If we got time. You should reach is. out. You should reach out to um, beatbox Imo Condor beatbox. You should do that. And Caleb Shields, thank you for being a basic member. We have 21 new members today. Thank you, everybody. If you are a member, please also stay a member. Much love and respect to you. But I would say right now, let's go watch Garmon. Let's move on. Let's let's uh, come to and an after end. that, we're doing Raffley and and Tilt. Is that correct? Exactly. Exactly. Perfect. Perfect. Let's my do name this. is Garmon, and this is my loop wild card for the GBB 2021 World League. Nope. Yeah, it's pl it's playing for me. Okay, let me try again. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. But much love if you tuned in today's live stream. Um, the last two and a half hours were a great experience. Thank you so much for Reaps1 for tuning in as well. And he dropped a really cool freestyle. Um, thanks one more time for everybody that made a donation today. And thank you, everybody that became a member. We have three more videos to watch. And yeah. Then we'll end it and i mean it really depends um also then how it goes with um thursday friday we're awaiting the judge results but we hope obviously with sinjo that we soon can uh, hopefully next week do another little um reaction live stream for you just that we were there's still so many good ones that we should watch you know i would like to to give it a listen to them per you know, personally I'm, 
I'm loving this, so I don't see why we don't do this every week until we run out of good ones to watch, you know? <laughs> All right. Sounds yeah. good. Sounds good. Okay. Perfect. All right, let's, let's do this. Come on. I'm looking forward to this one. My let's name is Ramon, and this is my loop wildcard for the GBP so 2021 World League. Yeah, yeah. Place for me. Gaming controller. Yeah, he's using it as a MIDI controller. What will be dead that they get me? Just to save me, I'll soon slay me. That they come and complicated, like by the rap, me to do the final step. Try to come up with nice. the animals, but your voice is trapped. The box is medication, I said that on frustration. I need to be patient to make the greatest combination. Meditation, shun is not helping, I'm hollow inside. I'm living at night while I am out of sight. Yeah. The lyrics are in the description. A natural reverb. Sick. That was a slam dunk, bro. Russia. Greetings to Russia. That was a slam dunk. <laughs> Who's wearing the t-shirt? Uh, yeah. Is he, from, is he from Russia? Yeah, yeah. He, he won the Russian loop champs, the last ones that we were there, yo. What? I thought Carmen was like Portuguese or something. What the hell is wrong with me? No, no, no. He's, <laughs> he's very Russian. Very, very Russian. I think he, he leveled up a lot. Watching I remember... Him. He did a he did one of my favorite loop wildcards from a few years back. I remember what, judging at the wildcard for GBB, and he had a drum and bass song that was so sick. Like it was the first time I heard someone make like a neuro funk low reesey kind of bass, ju just with the loop station. And I was yeah. like, what? I think he was using the ring, ring modulator. It was so yeah. sick. Respect, someone in the though. chat, fall for there alone, is saying, check this out by Saro. Check what out by Saro? I, I don't know what, what you want me to check out my sorrow. Uh, in the meantime, I think we got Ant Tilt up next. Let's do it. Let's do it. This is our second last one. I just want to point it out. Everybody in the chat, thank you so much for being with us. I think once we're done, let's dedicate two minutes to the chat, you know, to just have a little bit of oh, yeah. talk with everybody that is around. But um, thank you so much for tuning in today. We cannot fully promise we're going to do another reaction session because we're going to have the winner announcements coming up the next two days. But we will obviously try. If it makes sense, we will go and do another one 
let us know meanwhile in the chat if you want to if you really want to do this and then the team can inform us and then we can probably find a, another date you know um we have already a few a few more streams that will come but let's give it a shot we will try our best let me expand a bit on that because i guess tomorrow and the day after we're going to be reacting to the winners so uh that'll be reactions there obviously and then ones that didn't win and that we haven't reacted to as well there shouldn't be a problem why we can't react to those next time as well so we can just exactly. look into it but we yeah. will i think we will have the top 20 in the loop right or the top 15 and then in 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 solo we have the top 20 or top 30 i'm not quite sure that we will look together with the judges so what what we will watch first is we watch the top the the ones that get announced the winners so that's i think top four top five we don't know yet we have to confirm exactly how many wild cards get through exactly and then the same thing for the solo top seven i think we watch those videos and then at another time we watch the rest of the top 30 for solo and the rest of the top 20 for loop all right right after that in the same stream if that's ah, true. okay okay sorry i'm getting mixed up anyway we, we'll figure this stuff out we'll figure this out i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i don't want to be we watched already so many wild cards our brains are a little bit getting fried you know like a um, napalm's loop station fuzzy yeah. <laughs> all right all right let's, get, let's, let's go until let's, let's, let's go until <laughs> yeah yes. i've got yeah Hey guys, my name is Angel from Pakistan, and this is my solo wildcard for the Grand Blue Box Battle 2021. Nice opener. Hey, shout out to Zankish. Hey, you left me the on you, man. Why you still watching me? Little, little, say, buff this fun time, put this post through. But I ain't too proud time, but i a thief, and as I speak, stole away all the good years that I keep. <laughs> This is this is next level, man. This is crazy. Next level. These sounds being put together in that way. Oh uh, yeah. Until needs to really, really do another shout out for Swiss Beatbox too. I'm craving that. I think he's <laughs> he's, he's, he's he's very very much standing out, you know. And um, yeah, I want to give respect to 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 that style. I think it's standing out from from yeah. everything we've watched. What's really interesting is on one side. There's so many more and more people starting to sound the same from people copying techniques and technicality. But at the same time, on the other side of the spectrum, there's so many more and more sounding more unique as well. Like I'm hearing so many new beatboxes start coming out with their really unique own style. While on the other side of the spectrum, there is so many people coming out sounding the same. So it's a nice it's nice that it's balancing out, you know. Exactly. And then these, these kind of people end up standing out even more in the sea of all these beatboxes that end up sounding the same, copying the same techniques or, you know, using the same technicality beat combos. 
when you have people doing stuff that are unique like this, is another good example of that is Dilip, you know. I think that's mm. why he stood out for kickback. It was just yeah. so different. And when people sound different, it, it stands out more. And, and this is what also the judges are looking for, right? You you don't, yeah. if you listen to 440 videos and it's always kind of like the same thing, you notice really fast. You don't even need to be a big expert. You notice quite fast. Hey, this is something different. I got to pay attention to that properly, you know. Yeah. Um, I respect that a lot. So many, many greetings to Pakistan, to, to Untilt. Thank you very much for this incredible experience i thought it was important that we look into this one and i felt it brought like a lot of um you know variety to to the mix of the list that we watched today but um um you know it's the last one that we're going to watch before we mention this i just want to say one more time thank you everybody for all the members thank you everyone yeah. for all the donations if you want to become a member if you want to donate this is your last chance we appreciate you so much for everything that you did for us today. It's a huge kind of help. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, we had 124 members. We tried to reach. I think we got 18. We got 18 yeah. today. I think. No, I think it's 21 that we got. We were at okay. 103 in the beginning, or 100. Oh, even. I thought I thought we were at 16. Sorry. No, no, we were at 13. But thank thank you everybody that really you know became a member and and donated to us to all the Aussie people as well that um we're up so late today to to watch what we're doing really really means a lot um your your support uh, means everything to us and thanks to that we can do better work um yeah and we love Indonesia uh, we hope to come to Indonesia this year you, you know you mean so much to us and uh therefore we're going to end this live stream today uh, with the last wild card from Rafli, which was very much requested. So here comes many, many greetings to Indonesia. We're going to watch Rafli together now. And I would say, Aaron, if you don't have any other words, let's go and check it out. Yeah, yeah let's do it. Indonesia, GBP 2021, more league solo wild card. Let's go. <laughs> cool, <yo. laughs> Yeah, that's nasty. Whoa. Don't spot my bandits, you might keep it really good, my brother. Every time I drop a lady, because I'm just in the soul down. Got the reference, I'm in the security, too, don't go far. Because he went out of the soul, I called the type of motherfucker. Everything that he does is just powerful and good and somehow worked out original and unique. So respect, y'all. Yeah, respect. I think his sound quality sometimes lets him down. Yeah, um, he needs a good microphone. Oh, my God. You, you know, he no... would sound clean. He would really sound clean on, on, on this kind of stuff. I, I think he deserves it. But amazing wildcard. Many greetings to Rafli, to Indonesia. Many greetings to everybody, you know, that was tuned in today and i see we got one more member some well, somebody heard us ganesh dongre thank you there so you much ganesh 
um, for being um, an SPX light member, you you're a hero, you know. And it doesn't take much to become a light member. It's just one dollar per month, twelve dollars a year. If you feel inclined, everybody, yeah. you can join us, make us happy. We're on our way to reach two hundred members. I'm not gonna mention it again. So thank you, everybody, today that we was a member. It really means a lot. We're at 125 today. Again, thanks everybody that donated. And I would say, Sinjo, why don't we just stay two or three minutes in the chat with the people and read in so a little. You mean you're not going to mention it again this stream, right? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I could just—I was just imagining you getting memed. I'm not going to mention it again. The next stream, just dig, 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 dig. <laughs> no, I, I was a really nice uh, stream, man. I'm I'm very hungry though. I haven't eaten today unfortunately because i me too me too yeah same you know we have that similar lifestyle so i'm getting exactly. i'm getting i'm getting to that point but i really enjoyed it and i want to say thanks to everyone in the chat for being here I saw a bunch of aussies in there a bunch of kiwis and people from all over the world so it's it's a pleasure to be here and, and react with you to these amazing wild cards i really enjoy it Oh, and you know what's crazy fern and zaki became a member now a basic member and burak Kolak, I have to mention it again, became another basic member. And Rose gave a two euro, Rose TI gave a two euro donation. Thanks for the stream. Hey. Love. And we want to send some love so back. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. You're so kind. And maybe mm. let's read a, a little bit into the chat what people have to say. Make my day always. Yeah, we, we're happy to make your day. This is why we're here. We want to make people happy, right, Sinjo? Yeah, man. I'm, I'm actually more interested in someone asking me what's for dinner. <laughs> You know, I love talking about food, as you can tell. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to get some takoyaki, some karage, uh, mm -hmm. and some uh, takoyaki is like octopus uh, balls from Japan. Mm -hmm. um, karage, karage is Japanese fried chicken. And then this is one other thing. I can't remember the Japanese name for it, but it's basically like cheese with meat around it and then with a batter and then deep fried. I, I, I'm, I'm having... I'm, I'm meeting up with a friend to have dinner, so I think I'm going to just go crazy, unhealthy, uh, cheat day. <laughs> Joy. Then maybe day. I crack, I crack a little drink to them tonight. <laughs> Sorry, you asked another question before. I was just so concentrated on this person going, "What's no, for dinner?" I'm like, "Oh, what's no, for dinner?" No, I see Vatsu music is for. Would it be possible to watch Vatsu from India? It's got a dope concept, and I feel he you would really love it. We're done reacting, but I think it's on the list. Not Next sure. time, maybe. Yeah, he's been. I got to give him props. He's been non-stop asking the entire stream putting it in there so respect for your uh, dedication and then i saw someone else kind of giving him a little bit of negativity saying hey man stop spamming yourself it's all love guys if you want to promote yourself in the chat that's fine i mean this is what we're here to do we're here to react to you guys so if you want to wanna push your own out. yeah if you want to push your own wild card there's no hate um, we want to send wanna... love we want to yeah. send love, and that's that's all what beatboxing is. But we, me and Sinjo, we're gonna react much more, you know. Oh, look at that! I know <laughs> Sinjo is hungry. <laughs> uh, also, if like, I'm, can we if add... I'm uh, invited as well, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit hard to ship it to Switzerland, man, but I'll give it Vazuki. a go. No, Vazuki will invite Vazuki MS. If you invite us, you know, <laughs> we'll drop a little um, for you. <laughs> So yeah, I saw in his in his one about uh, adding Vatsu to the list. So Jack Nasty who's behind the scenes. Maybe he can add you to the list for the, the next playlist that we watch, that we react to. Maybe you get lucky and we get through there. There's so many incredible wildcards to react to. You know, it's we just have to hope hope for the best that you get in there. Harass Jack Nasty if you if you're nice to him and he likes you. Maybe he'll put you in the in the playlist. No promises though. <laughs> um, I want to say one thing though. We will have the results coming out, and I'm I'm letting you this know. This is this is really 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 important, and I want you to take this in. The results will come out, and I will kindly ask everyone to be supportive of us when it comes to show respect and love, because we really try to to spread love. We basically exist to do love with with beatboxing to push it out into the world we have lots to learn and we will get better at this it's going to take a few months and years to establish really what we are and what we think and how we come up with some ground rules and maybe make more videos when it comes to history of beatboxing and all those kind of things they will they will happen but beatboxing is about respect and unity so whenever the results are come out and somebody 
that um you know doesn't win that you want to be in please don't get angry i know you could write out that maybe you you're disappointed but don't spread hate show some love and i i want to point this out to all of you help us to you know tell people to be kind to each other because yeah. it is hurting and it's not nice and we want to not see this so please everybody in the stream take this in and help us out with that I thank you i really i really want to add to this because i think sometimes people lose touch with the fact that we're, we're we're a bunch of friends of people who love beatboxing trying to do our best for the community and we're humans we make mistakes you know we're, we're trying to build a system that works for everyone and because we're not perfect as humans we're gonna along the way along the journey we might make mistakes we might not do the best system we might not pick the best judges judges themselves might mistake make mistakes but we've done our best to pick a really fair even judging panel and create a system that is fair across the board and works for everyone. And if it doesn't work perfectly this time, we're going to try and work on it and make it better next time. But I get the feeling a lot of time people, when they're making comments and throwing hate up, like last time from Kickback, I got I got direct messages on Instagram that shocked me because I, I there's like there's no I couldn't imagine someone saying that to your face. And I feel like when people are exactly behind a, behind a screen, it's easy to forget that. We are reading the comments. We read the messages because I know we have over four million subscribers now. It's it's massive, and I, I still can't believe we have to it adapt at this stage. But we still see the comments and we still see the messages, and they mean something to us. So I think sometimes it's easier for people to throw away hate at someone very easy without thinking of of what it actually does to someone and how it reacts. And that goes even more for the judges. Because now we're not judging, it's easier for us to take a back seat a bit more and not feel personally attacked when people don't like who gets in. But for the judges, it's it's so sensitive. They care about this community so much. And to feel that kind of real personal negativity and hate, it's really damaging. And I don't think pe people underestimate how bad that can feel. So uh, you can, look, you have every single right to feel disappointed if someone didn't get through that you didn't like. Like, you can share that opinion, but it's just the manner and the way people speak, the wording that you use. It can make such a, um, a bad impression. So you can be like, oh, I'm really disappointed that this guy didn't get through. I really feel like he deserved it. All that kind of stuff is totally fine. But when you start saying, oh, you're a terrible judge, you don't deserve to judge, all of that kind of negativity, it really hits hard. And I think people don't realize that because you guys mean so much to all of us and your opinion matters. So just, I think, be a little bit more thoughtful and mindful when you're expressing your personal opinions about how you word it. And if you see someone that is not nice, you know, then point it out to people like that and say like, hey, let's be nice. We understand you're frustrated, but it, life goes on. It has to go on. We got to move on. We have no time to, to dwell in issues, you know, and people being not happy and unsatisfied. There's always a reason for these things to happen if somebody, for example, is not qualified, you know, but we are creating ways to make sure everybody deserves a chance and we believe that's really important to us and take this in and if you if you have if you really have a feeling for for beatboxers artists and fans then help us out if there is somebody that is not nice just tell them maybe with a group of other people hey guys this is disrespectful don't do this we don't want to have this behavior and you know like this we're strong because we're all a big team as reaps one usually would say we are a big team all together we need to support each other and this is what beatboxing makes really really special where this is where the magic comes in so yeah. let's definitely try and do that and we will keep working on this trying to make these things more official so we're coming yeah. for that but um and it's, yeah it's the same like what you said there when when if you see someone maybe expressing themselves in a negative or hateful manner don't pile in on them and be hateful and disrespectful to them because that's just going to cause the same problem. You know, hate just breeds more hate. So if, if someone is being hateful and disrespectful, don't be hateful and disrespectful to them to get them to stop. The only way to heal hate is with love. So if you see someone exactly. being hateful, treat them with respect, treat them with kindness and love and try and share this information with them in a respectful way. You don't have to 
jump on people negatively all the time. It doesn't really solve much on both sides of the scale, you know. I'm sorry, we're getting a bit preachy here. I really don't mean to be like that. We, uh, we, just... we have more streams to talk about this, but you, yeah, you exactly. make a really good point, Aaron. Thank you. I want to say, Jesse, thank you very much. You also became a member. This really means a lot. Um, we're trying to reach our goal, but I'm not going to get into this anymore. But thank you so much for being part of that. Um, I see that some people are just tuning in right now. <laughs> we're well, actually, actually at the end. Yeah, we're just finishing almost uh, almost three hours. Damn. Um, so I just want to see one question that I really like and which we've been hinting on, but I mean, nothing's official yet, but Papuni SBX, will Beatbox be official game in next Olympics? I don't think the next Olympics, I don't think we're ready yet for the next one. I mean, anything can happen, who knows? But it's definitely a goal, a dream one day to have it. I mean, now that breakdancing is officially in the Olympic games, that's one of the first times I saw a creative art form. I don't know if – is DJ battling – is that in the Olympic Games as well? I can't – okay. So, no. yeah, see, seeing some kind of creative musical art form being accepted is a good sign. It means that potentially, yeah, I mean, that would be the goal. I think it's part of the reason we are trying to standardize these rules across the different battles and platforms to try and make it so that it could one day be a standardized sport that could be in the, um, in the Olympics. That would be we we are amazing. working we're working on on a system. It's gonna take a few years to to develop, but we have goals and ambitions to develop systems that potentially could be you know going towards something like that. Not that this is the goal now to hit the Olympic Games, but we believe yeah. this has been done in our art form. It has not, so there should be no expectations on that. But I mean, we have to come up with something that is official, and then maybe who knows? Let's we're see doing... what's going to happen. We're doing that in collaboration with the whole community. So community leaders from all around the world, uh, beatboxers as well. It's not just us coming up with a system. We want to work together with everyone to create something that everyone kind of agrees with because it's uh, we don't think it's up to us to create systems for everyone. We want to create systems that work for everyone in collaboration with everyone exactly. else. So we've been We're working family. hard on that. Exactly. exactly. We, have to, we have to help other organizations we have to help other artists all around the world we need to help each other and yep. this is something that is even though you know we we have a certain size this is not so easy to do there there needs to be specific tactics that we need to develop there needs to be a strategy but i want you to all know that we are going to work very hard that we are able to help everyone out the best possible way because that's what Swiss Beatbox is standing for. Give us some yeah. time, please. We need a year or two, I would say. But slowly, you know, you will see certain effects popping up or us trying certain things. Just you will notice it and it, call, it all comes with great love for the art form and for all the human beings that are involved in beatboxing. Everybody is welcome to join us. And it comes because we're very passionate about beatboxing and we have a strong focus on it. But we're getting bigger. And that means that we're not that flexible anymore. Like when we were a small little company, you know, we're really getting bigger. We're almost 20 employees right now in the company as well. This is, is very, very hectic. And things take time to get established. But once yeah. they're established mm -hmm. and there is a structure, everything will be fine. I guarantee you that. So yeah, we're, we're basically... Yeah, we're sorry. basically just shifting from a video, like a YouTube channel, a couple friends making stuff together, to a startup, to a proper company. You know, so it's like it's such, it's a long journey. It takes a lot of steps, and we're trying our best to do the best because at, at the core of it all is you guys and the beatbox community. So it, it, we have to balance this between what serving the community in the best possible way, and it's. It takes a long process, and it's it's very. It, I get a lot of anxiety these days because there's so much responsibility. I don't ever want to make a mistake because it reflects on the co whole community, and it's it's. We just really want to do the best we possible can for everyone and make this a more respected art form, basically. We love and beatbox. This got deep, man. This got really deep. Um, yeah, yeah, and 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 I think it's important that we will talk about this more in the future. You know, we have to, and and we will. But today our brains are pretty fried, and I would say maybe one last, oh, there's another member that came in, Lucian, thank you for being a basic member, please stay a basic member, um, don't just go away, everybody that becomes a member, but other than that, I have one last more little announcement, um, first of all, greetings to MC Zany that is in the stream, Hey, have share. A Hobbit. 
didn't have a hobbit today, but MC Zany is representing. You're a judge for the OGBB wildcards. I'm excited to see what's going on with tag team and crews. And uh, I want to point out something. We have a second channel. It's called SBX or Swiss Beatbox Highlights. Um, please go and subscribe there. Go and subscribe to Swiss Beatbox Highlights. All the reactions that we're doing will be published on that account. So this video today will be downloaded and we will cut it out into other pieces and then we're going to re-upload those videos on the Highlight channel. Um, that channel is kind of brand new, you know, it's not that big yet. So we're trying to grow this place. So if you, you know, want to do us another favor in the love of the art form and for us go to swiss beatbox highlights and subscribe and check the content out there that we're bringing to you all the newest updates and announcement will always come on that platform so if you want to know first go and sub there thank yeah, you so it, they'll come out first there right so like an hour and a half two hours before exactly. the main channel so if you want to have inside information before anyone else go i need to i need to um clarify something i thought it was sbx highlights is it sbx highlights or swiss beatbox I think it's, highlights i think it's swiss beatbox highlights or sbx highlights it's, it's S sbx highlights, SBX highlights yeah. not swiss beatbox highlights my bad my bad it's too <laughs> for me to know but it's sbx highlights everybody yeah. so yeah. um it, i can maybe show you just, I don't know if just, you can see it on my phone or not, but it looks like this. Just go there and subscribe. Please do us a favor. Watch the videos. We'll be great, of great help. So um, it's similar for those of you who follow Joe Rogan. He's got his main channel, Powerful JRE, where he's got his um, podcast going. And then he's got JRE Clips, where he posts clips from the podcast. It's basically a similar idea because we're doing all these live streams on this channel. We want to take some of the most interesting parts and put them on the other channel. So if you want to go and check out that, that would really mean a lot to us. Thank you so much, guys. And I think uh, it's bang on 6 p.m. You've got a call to go to. I've got to get some food and do some other work. I, go. I, th yeah. I think we um, I think we come to an end, guys. Thank you so much for everyone who joined us in the stream, for all the new members, everyone that donated, everyone that subscribed and followed us. We love you all so much. It's such a pleasure to, to do this and sit here and react for you amazing artists and the community itself so really thanks for having us and thanks for having me we're back bro. tomorrow we're back so, tomorrow yo yep it's gonna be a big one tomorrow loop station GPM. gbb wildcard announcement video uh, live stream i'm so excited for this it's gonna so be if sick. you want to know who won in the loop station category in the wildcard contest tomorrow 3 p.m maybe if, if we have five minutes delay forgive us sometimes 10 minutes forgive us be there, tune in. We're going to watch together with the judges, the winners. We're going to have some discussions. And on 14th, that Friday this week, we're doing it for a solo. But that said, yeah, yeah. thank you so much, Sinjo. It's always a pleasure with you. You're my real brother and homie. Much love to of you, course. brother. Same goes for you, man. I love you, mate. All right, guys. Bye. Peace. Take care. Have a good one, everyone. Bye.